live hi guys happy tuesday um or tomorrow to some of you that are watching us from far away oh my gosh i can't believe it i get to do the intro for the show this week i i'm i'm overjoyed uh because i guess i'm running the game what but i'm not really i'm just here to facilitate an mc for these beautiful beautiful monster i mean friends of mine um so great uh, we're playing a game of monster hearts too um, I'm super pumped, um, and we have a lot of really great stuff in store. Um, our sponsor tonight is Hero Forge. They make beautiful minis. If you haven't already seen them before, very cool. Some of them you can even get them like pre-color, uh, colored for you, and they're super sweet. I don't have one in my hand to show you because I left them at the studio in the before times. So I still haven't picked one up, Dom. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, they make the best minis. So check them out. Check out Hero Forge. Um, uh, so I would like to go around and introduce my fine, beautiful uh, friends here. I didn't introduce myself really yet. I'm Terry, Terry Gamble. I'll be the MC for this game of Monster Hearts tonight. Uh, why don't we go around the horn and see uh, who's here with us tonight? Um, yeah, we'll start with Abria. You look very ready. You're actually oh. looking at, oh, you, yeah. do you feel ready? Nope, 100%. So ready. <laughs> okay, great. Hi, I'm Abria. Uh, tonight I'm playing the witch playbook uh, and her name is Hester Blake and she's a TikTok witch. Yes! <laughs> We're gonna hex the moon, motherfuckers. Let's go. <laughs> okay, but like... <laughs> Amazing. But yeah, absolutely. Yes, she is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Writing that down because that's hilarious. Who we got next? Who wants to go next? Uh, Negs looks kind of ready. She got very excited about Abria being a TikTok witch. So let's talk about this. I did. I'm really excited because I don't know what that means. Um, and I want to learn. I'm so stoked. <laughs> I don't, I'm not on the TikToks. So um, I'm going to learn a lot tonight. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm Nega Oryx. And I'm playing Maeve McDermott, the vampire. I'm yeah, excited. welcome Maeve. How about we get Vianna Rama? Hello, uh, I'm Vanna, and tonight I'm playing Cassidy Williams. That's Cass for short. Don't call her Cassidy. She doesn't like it. Uh, and she's a werewolf, and uh, she's a wild card. Wild yeah, card. Yeah, wild cards. That's a game on Friday nights, usually, <laughs> <laughs> here at Saving Throw. That's true. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Sir Eric. Hi. Uh, I am playing, and tonight I am playing the Hallow, uh, whose character name, they are uh, Robert Walton. Fabulous. So I'm so excited you little monsters have gathered with us. Um, I know you told us all your names and whatnot. Can you give us just a little description? We'll go back around, same order. Just a little description about your character. Because on these beautiful sheets um, on Monster Hearts 2, from Powered by the Apocalypse and all that good stuff. And uh, Avery Adler, thank you uh, for shouting us out this week too. If, if you're watching, I don't know if you are, but if you are, hi. I'm sorry if I <laughs> don't do everything correctly. We're just doing this for one night tonight. So hopefully, hopefully we, we do it justice. Uh, but um, on the awesome sheets, everybody has an option for how your characters look and kind of your little bit of your background. So I'd love if you'd want to share a little bit about that so our audience can follow along and know what's up. Yeah, okay. Uh, so obviously, once again, name is Hester. Uh, the look, I like Koi a lot, uh, like aesthetic wise, it's very like cottage core, like cute little velvet and like knee high stockings and just very precious, uh, very like social media, forward um eyes i really like uh, smirking eyes i think she just doesn't take too much of this ser like seriously even though she is actually a witch and her origin uh is it's like on here it's this tumblr but once again going back to tiktok uh she used to be one of like the tiktok dance like girls trying to like get famous off of doing that and then she found witch talk and then she was really good at it so she actually like discovered her abilities uh, via social media. How it goes sometimes. It do be that way sometimes. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about you, Negs, and your character? What she look like? What she like? 
Absolutely. Uh, I forgot to do my going live tweet. So if you see me working on that in the background. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm getting on it. Got to tell the people. Yeah, I was going to say, got to let people know to come on through. <laughs> um, yes. So Maeve has very intense eyes. Uh, or I'm sorry, an intense look in general. I think that's to be expected for a vampire. It's exactly what you'd expect. She's a very intense woman. Uh, she has really pained eyes. I think when you when you look at her, you can really get a little glimpse into maybe uh, how challenging things have been for her over the years. And it's been many years. Her origin is she is many ages old. Uh, she was turned a very, very, very long time ago. And uh, you can imagine how someone, you know, potentially decades or centuries old feels about going to high school with actual teenagers <laughs> so it doesn't exactly give her a great disposition edward didn't mind i seem to mind yeah. <laughs> right oh that's because he's a pedophile oh <laughs> where's the lie though oh. wow so next uh how about vienna tell us a little more about your character <laughs> let's get on by that one uh <laughs> Um, uh, Cass is, she looks unkempt. I actually myself haven't showered in several days. So that's, I did that for the part. I'm yeah. a method actor. Totally. Um, she has fierce eyes. They look as if she could kill you at any minute and she might. Wild card. <laughs> Wild card. <laughs> uh, and her origin is favored by the moon because that made me feel like she was a Sailor Moon werewolf and I was into that. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's Sailor Moon. Oh my gosh. In amazing. The name I will eat your throat out. I will. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, thank you for the song already. That wasn't in one of the unlocks today, but that was really nice to happen already. We got some other things unlocked already too. <laughs> Eric, tell us a little more about your character. Uh, Robert, uh, yeah. he, uh, he or they uh, is a somewhat disheveled looking person, generally doesn't take very good care of their clothing, uh, has soulless eyes, uh, mostly because they don't have a soul. They were their origin is born uh, a wish. Uh, their their parents wanted a child, tried and tried and couldn't. You know, science. And when science failed them, they turned to magic. So they magic themselves up a brand new baby boy. Uh, the problem is, he came out wrong. <laughs> he doesn't. He he's a person, but he doesn't have a soul. All right. Well, good times. He sounds lovely. Uh, <laughs> Great All at right. parties. <laughs> totally, totally good at parties. All right, y'all. So that's our, our beautiful intrepid crew tonight. Um, so uh, y'all are in high school. That's like the big wrench in all of this. Y'all are cool emo high schoolers, though, I think. But dealing with high school is hard. So there's a big dance coming up this weekend, you guys. And we're in homeroom the Friday before that big weekend, dance weekend. The classroom is already a buzz with chatter and everyone is getting ready for the winter formal coming up. There's final conversations about what to wear, who's going to go with who last minute, who maybe still doesn't have a date. I don't know um, what decorations still need to be, get done. The winter formal is going to be falling on a full moon night. So could be problematic for some of you. I don't know. Maybe the theme of the winter formal is actually called Moonstruck. Because the kids have got a random affinity for classic Nicolas Cage and Cher films. I don't know. It's a thing. Um, they're already thinking ahead, you know, to the spring formal, which will feature uh, Winona Ryder and, and Cher's film Mermaids. Because uh, they really like classic Cher films. And maybe, you know, last, last year's spring formal was actually Mamma Mia, even though it's not technically a classic Cher, but it feels like a modern classic for some. I digress. <laughs> All right. So, um, <laughs> none of this is bad. I just want to hear Terry it. talk I about it. I love it all. Yes. <laughs> all of this. 
Oh my gosh, the things I think about. Um, so the kids are coming into class. Any of you be, would any of you be an early kid to class or what, what time would you be getting to school? No, I'm always late. Mm -hmm. All of you? No, I'm like on time. Like um, right at the, right at the bell. Like, yeah, I just don't want to get in trouble, but <laughs> my I mom think... drops me off. <laughs> Your mom drops you off? Yeah. How old are we? <laughs> We're teenagers. That's, that's a good question. How old are you? Are we seniors? I feel like we have to do senior energy. Yeah. Sweet. You all are giving me mad senior energy right now. I think that's the perfect <laughs> choice. Sweet. And my mom drops me off and I don't like to talk about it. Maeve's a Robert, super senior. Robert's found out that uh, when you're <laughs> when you're late and they send a note to the teacher so that you have to go to the office to explain why you were late, you can just hide in the bathroom for 15 minutes and throw that note away, which is something <gasps> Eric found out in high school as well. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> That's so smart. Love so it. Criminal. So everyone's filtering into the classroom. There's a general hubbub and you know, the, the, the pop, whatever the popular kids, the, 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 you know, all the, all the, all the clicks are there, the, the cheerleader kids and the, the football guys and all that kind of good stuff. Everyone's excited. Um, but also glad it's Friday. Cause you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's it, anyway, let it be done. Um, but it was a crazy night the night before it was like kind of an, a, a frightening night and stormy. Um, and all of a sudden as your class is getting started, um, your teacher, Jill Rupert, um, is stopped, uh, by some police officers that come in. Um, these officers are not quite gentlemanly, but they, they come in and they're very short with her and they tell her, Hey, um, we might need to ask some of the students some questions, um, or if you can keep a lookout, but one of their classmates has gone missing. Her name is Radhika McDowell. And, um, she's, she was, was a wonderful, you know, well-connected, uh, sweet girl, um, but something's happened to her and they're not quite sure where she is. So if anyone has any information um, or, or news about it, we, we'd love to know. Um, and so these officers leave for the, the time being, but they want her to keep her eyes and ears out because they're not sure what's happening and maybe they could, they could find something out. So you kids are left in the class um, as the teacher is going to kind of go over the day, but do you guys want to chat with each other or find out or how, who, who's any, are any of you best friends with each other? Anybody, have you know each other? Cause I know you guys got some backstory maybe that connects some of you guys. Um, well, I lack subtlety. So all of you have a string on me. Just so you know. <laughs> Just so you know, mark that down. <laughs> that feels like real life. So everyone um, <laughs> in this game, there's things called strings, as Vanna just brought it beautifully, um, that connect our characters to each other. So um, apparently Vanna is connected to everybody because you're not subtle. <laughs> Uh, and then, uh, I have also spent weeks watching someone from a distance and their scent and mannerisms are unmistakable to me now. Gain two strings on them. And I decided I've been watching Maeve. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure out how old this bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> Timeless. Never. That's the answer. <laughs> Never ask a lady that question. <laughs> and everyone supposedly blends in to this town. Um, most people don't know that everyone, that you all are a little special and a little different even though we all feel a little special and different sometimes in high school. Um, how, how are you blending in there, uh, uh, Cass? How are you blending oh, in the school? I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I think one of the, like, it's like if she goes to like a, like a teen house party or something, one of her party tricks is to like shift her eyes to wolf eyes to just freak people out. And then she just laughs about it. Like, I just don't think she gives a shit. So I don't think she's like, I'm a werewolf, but I think it's like everything other than that. It's just sort of like out yeah, there. extra, like you could go on America's Got Talent or something with those eyes. All right. Um, <laughs> how about who's ready? Who's next? Who's, who's wants to talk about their. I'll, I'll go. Uh, yeah. I let's see. Uh, I, I get 
I give gain two strings from people because I, I watch people for social cues. But I would say that probably uh, Hester uh, is part of my backstory because someone has seen through your invented past and realizes it's all a lie and gains two strings. Mm. So so Yay! in your TikTok, like looking up, you realize that like, although my parents like moved to this town, they didn't have a son until they moved to this town. <laughs> Okay. You somehow know that from TikTok. <laughs> TikTok is very invasive, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> the TikTok rumor mill. <laughs> For sure. Uh, oh, I can go. Yeah. Um, let's see. One of the others caught you rummaging through their friend's stuff, but hasn't said anything and they get a string on you. Um, holy crap. That's wild. Uh, how about, I, I want to give it, Eric, what's your character's name again? I forgot. Robert. Robert. I, I keep wanting to say Rupert and I had to write it down right. It's in his- uh, also has it on his Zoom. Zoom handle. Okay, calm down. I'm it's very... also one of the main characters of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, but that's me. You know, when I, that's... Oh, nice. No one's read that Freaking, book. Please get actually, out of here. Actually, I have and it's really good. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna bash on Eric, but I guess I'm, I'm re realigning. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Line up. Um, so you have a string on me because I was going through your friend's stuff, looking for grave dirt or just something, you know, to do a hex with. Um, and I start the game with two sympathetic tokens. Uh, can I have a thing from uh, both Cass and Maeve? Sure. Sweet. I don't know what it is. It's just like a little trifle. Ooh. I don't think I. I don't think that's part of my character. So what's a sympathetic token? Yeah, yeah it's, it's, a, it's, it's a witch like thing. So oh. Okay, they work okay. like strings for me. Um. Mm. Witches are just hoarders. What? If, what if it's some of Cass's Not fur? Wrong. <gasps> yeah, it's a little lock of fur tied with a ribbon. We're gonna do a call back to Good Society when we all yes, said please. no to the lock of hair. <laughs> Also in, also in uh, Sense and Sensibilities, some, uh, there's one person who gives this dude a ring and, or it gives him her hair and then he fashions it into a ring somehow. No, oh. no. A hair ring? Yeah, and I don't know if it's like, it's probably not a hair ring, it's probably like a ring. And then there's like a bobble on the top that contains the hair. I like bet they, it's just like they, they just, just like, went wild with it. <laughs> I bet they just matted it into like a little growth circle. That's I mean, that's what, what I, what I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you're yeah. saying you have a collection of anyway. Um, I do have two dogs. So yes. And I share <laughs> a lot personally. So double, triple. Yes. <laughs> All right. Fab. And did we get next? Did we get your connections, your backstory? No, not yet. Uh, my backstory says you're beautiful. Gain a string on everyone. Love it. So I, it's so simple. I love it. Uh, so <laughs> I have a string on everyone. And then I have- Why is this real life? <laughs> <laughs> then I have someone once saved your unlife. They gained two strings on you. Ooh, so who saved your unlife? I mean, I've been following you for weeks. So I have many opportunities- <laughs> I, save your life. <laughs> I actually, I do think it would have been Cass. Yeah. yeah. I think based on like her, her physical strength and her like gusto, um, I think she probably saved Maeve from, I mean, from, you know, essentially being staked or burned or beheaded unsuspectingly. Sure. I killed yeah, Buffy. I <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I don't think Robert would care that like has a connection enough to this plane of existence to save anyone <laughs> yeah and hester you would have but you you weren't stalking me so i appreciate no, you it's fine thank you though not yet oh, okay. not oh yet. my gosh oh no she about to <laughs> stalk you yeah. good time yeah, stalk is a mean stalk. word yeah <laughs> all right so um so now you all know kind of a little bit how you know each other um, and throughout this game, as you pull those strings or decide to use those strings, you can gain experience. Um, and that's how you're going to advance um, as you um, figure out what you're doing. You have different moves you can use to help um, in pulling strings as one of those moves. Um, 
that'll help you advance forward as well. And depending on if you succeed doing some of your different actions that you all have as well, um, it's an opportunity to become your darkest self which could be your true selves for some of y'all, um, <laughs> quite honestly. Um, and uh, that's how we're going to roll. So Radhika is missing your friend. Um, any goss you guys have? Yes. Talk to me. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> she just raises her hand. Um, I'm very upset. May I please go to the bathroom? Really, Hester? I'm very upset and I just don't want to like have emotions in front of people. Are you gonna go put this on TikTok right now? Or I'm not, that... I'll leave my phone, God. Okay, well, don't leave your phone. I don't wanna be that kind of teacher. Um, I wanna be the cool teacher. Ah. You are a cool te teacher. Have you been practicing that dance? Um, okay, I'm sorry, I'm upset, I'm gonna go. You're talking about the whip and nay nay? Yeah, um, no, that's fine. And I'm proud of you. Okay, <laughs> that's so okay, funny. Hester, sure. Um, <laughs> Here, here, here's the hall pass. Here you go. Oh my god, thank you. And I want to run to the bathroom and then gaze into the abyss. <laughs> All right, go for yeah. it. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, think, so, oh, go oh, ahead. can it be like Cass is in there, but you don't notice her because she's like in her spot that she usually is behind the door? Yeah, like smoking I a cigarette. <laughs> don't think for a second that Hester has any sort of environmental awareness. Okay, cool. She is self possessed and just runs in and pulls out like. A, a lipstick, I don't know, just a Mac lipstick and starts drawing sigils on the mirror. And then when she gets it where she wants it to be, she puts her hands on both sides and like the mirror goes dark. And uh, let's let's roll about this. Let's roll. Please roll good. Ooh, 11 plus two is a 13. Ooh, that's like real, real good. Let's go. Real, real I, I'm good. looking to see what happened to, uh, to Radhika. To Radhika? Yeah. All right. So that's a, like my favorite number 13. So yes. Um, so as you're looking into the abyss of this mirror, you see um, shadows of a, of a really dashing figure. He's a really handsome looking man, but he turns and his face is not quite, you can't quite make everything out, but it looks like he's might have some really big fangs um but he's got a beautiful like fireplace um and like an old timey kind of victorian looking home and vibe it's really beautiful and you're kind of distracted by it because like you're a tiktok queen and you're like oh my gosh the tapestries that chair oh my gosh that would be old on then you realize that radica you think it looks like she might be tied up or laying down right in front of that fireplace on top of a bearskin rug, um, and um, and 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 it's it's all of it's kind of upsetting, um, but uh, um, so you, uh, ooh, sorry, I was looking at notes. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Real life. Do 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 do. Um, and yeah, and that's the glimpse you see in the mirror. Uh, I, I just want to add to it, so especially since Cass is here and Hester doesn't know it. Mm -hmm. I think when she does that, uh, she murmurs in a voice that sounds super echoey, like it's coming from the other side of the mirror, but she ex is sort of stream of consciousness explaining what she's seeing out loud, even though she doesn't know what it is. Mm -hmm. Just so Cass has a clue that something very weird is happening mm -hmm. on the other side of the bathroom, like stall door. But I can't see the, oh no, I'm not in the stall. I'm behind the door. Oh, behind the actual door? So you it's like weirdo. Are you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. That is the idea. So, but it's showing up in the mirror, right? I can see it. No, I think only she can see it. Okay. Cause like the mirror is just covered in lipstick and, and like geometry. And yeah. Okay. Sweet. And then she snaps right. out of it. <clears throat> oh, what's wrong? Did somebody break little Hestie's heart? What the? Ew. What are you? Are you smoking? Like yeah. a cigarette? Oh my God. Are you a, like, are you a grandma who does that? Ew. Uh, it feels good. Do you yeah. want to try it? Absolutely not. Are you kidding me? You I do like three hours of yoga a day. Are you joking? Get out of here. And your skin's going to suck. I uh, beg to differ, but. I mean, not now because like we're all young and dewy. 
and like your skin is super pretty and like pale, like you don't spend a lot of time in the light, which is good and super healthy, but like, it's going to start drying out the skin around your mouth. And you're going to get that like old lady, like the little like wrinkle that makes it look like a broom. It's always so informative talking to you, Hester. Oh my God. Thank you, Cass. Mm -hmm. So what's up with the, the mirror shenanigans? Oh, um, uh, now I'm like famous on the internet for doing this. She's not famous. Um, um, so if I you were in class, I follow your TikTok if that's oh what God. you mean. Oh my God. Thank you. Um, but if you were in class and not in here, like destroying your lungs or whatever, you would have known that Ronica McDowell is missing and the cops came. So I just was looking into it because I'm a really good person. Well. You were looking into it by... Wait, do I know Hester's a witch? Uh, That's I think a good if, question. If you follow her on TikTok, then you know she has like little witchy TikTok things. But, uh. but maybe I think she's like a fake witch. <laughs> that feels right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so drawing on the mirror with your $50 lipstick is going to help how? Um, Don't worry about it. I'm just like, we all just do what we can. Uh, I'm using my like abilities to reach and like look and try to get some like uh -huh. inspiration on where she is. And you're just going to stand right. there harassing me. Like we all pull our weight. I was here first, first of all. Second of all, you're just going to do this to put it on TikTok so you can get clout for somebody's disappearance. Oh my God, I left my phone in the room. Like you can't create a TikTok later? No, that's fair. But I don't think it matters like why I do it if the result is good. That's a lot to unpack. Um, who's and Radhika to you anyway? Uh, she's super nice. And uh, like we used to be friends like two years ago, like not as much anymore, but like, I don't know. Where you got famous. Um, no. Cut to back <laughs> in the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, kids, I forgot to say this is run like a movie. So that's one of the little scenes we just had. <laughs> Cut to back in the classroom. Maeve, who are you chatting? Are you chatting with Robert or someone else or anyone about you? This maybe that you maybe a party you threw in a crazy house. I don't know what's happening. Maeve does not offer up information unless asked. But when she sees a Hester leave the classroom and leave her bag and her phone behind. She's going to look around her to wait for a moment when it looks like nobody's really paying attention. And she's just going to reach over and she's going to take Hester's phone. Ooh, so rude. I, see, I love it. Love this. Would we call this maybe, ooh, not lash out physically. Is this, do I want to roll for this to see if you're able to just grab it without anybody stopping you? How about I'm just going to be the person that comes in and catches you? Hi, my name is Colin Edwards. I'm a brooding young gentleman who's just showed up to your Just class. like all of us, <laughs> except <Yeah>. Hester. <laughs> I am, have a brooding yet sparkling personality, some may say. Hey. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I'm new here. Um, yeah. Is this Miss Rupert's class? I was looking. Yeah, take a seat. Okay, like, is this seat next to you cool? Like, is that all right? I don't see anyone sitting there. All right. Um, there's something about you. <laughs> I hate this. That feels strangely familiar, yet different. Uh-huh. Do you say that to all the girls you sit next to in class when you transfer to a new high school? I don't transfer that often, but when I do, I always try to make sure I sit next to someone as beautiful as you, but never as beautiful as you. Okay. All right. Well, it was nice to meet you, Colin, was it? Yeah, Colin Edwards. Okay, Colin. Um, bit of advice? Yeah. Don't try that with me again. Don't okay. hit on me ever again. I, oh, no, no disrespect. Oh, no, I'm I, I wasn't, sure. 
I wasn't hitting on, I, I wasn't, you know. Oh, sh sh hush now. No, no. No more hitting on me. Okay. Uh, okay. Nice to meet you. Enjoy the class. All right. Why is everybody like not really doing class? They all seem to be talking about something. What's going on? A girl seems to have gone missing. Oh, crazy. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Does that happen a lot around here? Define a lot. I don't know. Would you like to go get missing with me maybe sometime? Okay. You know what? Eyes ahead, Colin. Okay. And Maeve just turns and she's going to. Uh, take a peek at Hester's phone. I'm guessing if I had rolled, that would have not done very well. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, shut down. Can you All right. Being hundreds of years old and still having teenage boys hit on you every Yikes. day in class. Like I just, after that many years, I would lose my mind. <laughs> I would self-terminate. I don't know. No. Eternal life is not worth it. I can't it's do it super anymore. not. Trade Ooh. my immortality to never hear a bad pickup line ever again. Sweet. All right. So we'll say going... her phone is locked, but probably a very easily guessable thing. <laughs> All right. So you're going to try to open this phone? Is there a role that I can do to see if Maeve would have some good guesses for Hester's password? That's what we're looking at. Um, do, 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 do. Um, you do have strings with everybody. I do. Could so I... maybe you pull that string. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull that string. And uh, I think maybe this is not the first time it has occurred to Maeve that it might be beneficial to do something like this and so maybe she's been paying attention or uh sneaking a little peek at, at hester here and there so maybe that's why uh she would be able to get this kind of information in the first place right um or it's like beyonce's birthday or something would it be beyonce's <laughs> birthday it's goddamn beyonce's birthday i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> i think may oh, sitting there and she's like that songstress she likes. She's always waffling on about that, her. That songstress. And then she puts it in and she, like, she has to look it up first on her phone. And you also kind of see her clumsily, like, she opens her browser and she types, like, um, I need to Google a question. And then it pops up with Google. And then she clicks on Google. And then she types into, you know what I mean? Like, she's... Maeve is pre precious and must be protected at all costs. <laughs> Maybe I've had to learn a lot of technology over the years. Okay. It's a lot to keep up with. Yeah. Uh, and then she is going to, once she opens Hester's phone, uh, she's going to quickly scroll and see if she has any messages from uh, the missing girl. Radhika. All right. Let's. All right. Fab. Does she have any messages? Um, I think it's like, really really mundane like the chat is it's probably like halfway through like I don't know you have to do a little bit of scrolling to get down to her but it's usually just like homework stuff and then every now and then it's like oh we should hang out like oh yeah for sure and then like a big gap and then asking for stuff like it's just the friends that like never quite reconnected got it all right so she is an old good friend of yours okay She's going to lock the phone and slide it into her bag and then go back to pretending that she's paying attention in class. Mm -hmm. Great. So the Civil War. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me started. Yeah. <laughs> two brothers. Like, that is not how it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. <laughs> It wasn't about just states' rights, kids. This was really about... Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, Robert, what are you doing in class? Uh, Robert is doing very disturbing drawings, as he often does, to pass the time. Do you want to share any of these drawings? with? Sure. Here's his self-portrait. <laughs> Here's, here's one of um, of an interesting creature he saw earlier. 
<laughs> Where did you find that picture of me? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was a mock man. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay. May this you? <laughs> May it me. Draw me. Draw me like one of your French ghouls. Oh, I love it! Wow! All, All right. right. All right. So, um, we've got another new student all of a sudden in class as well. I don't know. I'm Great. gonna kill him. <laughs> Her name is Summer. Um, oh, a new, new student. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks. Um, yeah. And then Summer, um, she comes in and, and speaks with Mrs. Rupert and and as uh, and, and, and takes a seat. Um, Summer, um, Summer Buffett is is excited uh, to be to be here at Sundial High School, um, and. Uh, but Maeve might feel a little uncomfortable for some reason around Summer uh, Buffett. Um, what's that face? What's that face, Maeve? I don't know. Oh, good. Don't you bring a vampire slayer to my school? Well, I dare. didn't. The chat did. So um, she's here. I uh, saved your life once. I'll do it again. <laughs> Thank you. My question is, what do you want to do? Do you want to stay inside this classroom as Summer has entered? And it's taking a look around, or do you want to grab your crew and get the hell out of here and figure out what's going on with Radhika? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out. I can clock pretty quickly. I, I'm I'm getting a vibe. Uh, and Maeve does one of these moves where like she looks down, and then when she comes up, <laughs> like she's doing the the fake oh, cry okay. with the hair in front of her face. Oh, oh, Maeve, are, are you all right, darling? It's just so distressing for this okay, to happen too. to one of our classmates. I just don't think I can focus like this. Okay. I'll, do you need a note to go to the nurse's office or? Yes, please. Okay. Sure. Sure. Here. No, no problem. Just want to make sure you guys know I'm very supportive and I, I'm, I'm here for all of, all of you kids, really. Uh -huh. Yeah. Can I have the note, please? Sure. Okay. And I just want to make sure the dance is great for you tomorrow night and, and everything. Okay. Sorry. Okay. I, okay I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. She walks out and then goes, <sighs> <sighs> and she goes to the bathroom. All right. Meeting in the ladies' room, cut to. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, hey, Maeve. Cass? Hester? Hi. I'm just wiping the lipstick off of the mirror. Nothing weird going on in here. Just normal Hesty things. Um, says the juvenile delinquent in the corner. Do you want a cigarette, Maeve? Uh, I'd rather not be near any form of open flame, but appreciate the thought. And she's that was a weird sentence, but it feels like it's on my yeah, team. Yeah, it feels really specific. She's gonna pull out <laughs> Hester's phone. Oh my God, why do you have my phone? Uh, you dropped this. It fell out of your bag in class. You said you left it, Hesty. Yeah, I very specifically left it. Sure, um, well, I'm very specifically returning it to you so nobody takes it from class. This other than nice you? Thing. This is a nice thing that I'm doing for you, Hester. Um, Normally when you have to label something as a nice thing, it's probably not that nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay uh, i'm just getting out of here for the day and i didn't want anyone to steal your shit wait so. where are you going yeah where are you she, going she puts out the cigarette in the sink i take my phone uh i haven't quite decided yet just and all of a sudden summer buffett enters into the bathroom <coughs> smokers in here oh my god it's oh my god are you new Yes! Yay! Hi! This is a three-person maximum, excuse me, and I just want to close the door in her face. <gasps> Hi! I'm sorry. Oh You're gonna God. need to roll for that. Yeah, I'd love to roll to shut someone down, please. <laughs> yes, please. Uh-oh, I'm very bad at cold. This is not going to go well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good thing you have four strings on summer. Uh, yeah, I got a you four. You know from TikTok. Do we have re-rolls? <laughs> I bet re-rolls in this game. There's no re-rolls in this game. It is very bad. 
mostly because now that you've failed at something that actually is not a bad thing in the monster hearts that actually <laughs> gets you a little experience point and gets you a little closer to your wonderful terrible self so you can um click on one of those experience points i'll do that over here on the thanks on the big sheet I think I do not have that open. God, what a nightmare. Sorry, go. Oh, that's okay. Now that's here we are why. together on the same page. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So. Okay. I guess you guys all look here. really friendly. Who the fuck are you? I'm Summer. I just moved here to Sundial. Okay. Are Great, gonna go are you going to go to the bathroom? Yeah, do you need to go to the bathroom? Because you can just go. All the <laughs> stalls are open. Do. I feel a little bit stressed just looking at you, so. That's oh, fine. Uh, we were just leaving. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. And Maeve is going to open the door and start to walk through and kind of like hold it open for the girls behind okay. her. I think uh, Cass like drops, uh, jumps down from her like seat on the sink behind the door and walks around and walks out and is like, I'll be right back. And then walks over to the classroom door. Oh my God, grab my purse. I left all yeah. my other stuff, but my phone in there. Thank no, you. what do you need in there? Like all of my stuff. Thank you. Uh, and then uh, Cass is going to like, Wrap on the glass of like the door to try and get Robert's attention. Robert's going to just slowly pack up his supplies and he's going to grab his backpack and he's just going to start walking to the door. He's like, no, and then, and then Cass goes. <laughs> and then he's going to grab Cass's stuff. And he's like, no, Cass needs her. I didn't bring my stuff in there. I haven't gone to class yet. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's Hester's stuff. <laughs> I don't know whose bag that is. Put that down. The purse. <laughs> it, excuse me, a robber? Is that a picture of Hester? Yeah, <laughs> Hester. Hester. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he goes, he grabs Hester's stuff. And he go and he walks by the teacher. He's like, Hester needs this, her stuff, and my dad died. And then he just walks out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> okay. What is what a day? Uh, end of end of scene at at this classroom. Wow, Miss. No Rupert. wait. When he walks out, Cass goes, "Did you tell her your dad died again?" Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many times she's gonna buy. That. Probably at least one more. <laughs> I don't know how many dads he had. He could have had a stepdad and then another dad and his dad could have married a dad. I think we're at least at two at this point. Right? Two. So many, so much dad. <laughs> but, um, yeah. We didn't specify his parents. <laughs> All right. Fabulous. So where do you kids want to want to head off to? You have some some places you can go. I think go. Maeve is the mm -hmm. is our uh, chaperone. So. All right, Maeve, do you want to take them? Where do you want to take them? Do you want to go to like a cool hangout spot? Or do you guys want to go to somebody's house? Or do you want to go uh, someplace where you can smoke outdoors and hang out? What you got? Uh, oh, what were you going to say? No, oh, nothing. You're good. Uh, I think Maeve would suggest her house. It would be up to the group if, if they would want to do that, but you guys want to do you guys want to go to Maeve's house or you want to go someplace else tell me yeah yeah it'll be nice to finally be inside your house instead of just staring at it from the outside oh wait do you not get to go to her like she throws amazing parties i don't get Have invited to been? parties hesty do people get mm, i don't know how i feel about hesty yet um but like do people even get invited i think you just find out and then you show up Okay, let me rephrase that then. I don't want to go to parties. Um, okay, that's fine. That's Thanks for grabbing my stuff, Robert. <laughs> Did you also go through it? No, I don't care. 
uh, Robert's show has see that drawing of you did of her. Her what? <laughs> um, wait. Really, really the most productive use of time. Wait, do you think wait. I have a head for hats? Like I haven't yeah. tried. Show Maeve her. You drew me? <laughs> Is really good. There she is. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, that is very funny when it's not about me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I even got one for Cass. Uh, <gasps> yes, I don't please. think I've seen this one. <laughs> oh, that looks just like me. Thanks, Robert. Oh, that's mm -hmm. really good. I'm going to so get that on a shirt. And then me, of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, are you okay? <laughs> Probably. While you guys are sharing these warm and fuzzy, beautiful portraits, all of a sudden, Maeve gets a text from Radhika. Oh. Uh, Maeve's going to open her phone and, and check it right away. It takes her a minute to unlock That's your phone, Google browser. Are you trying to check your, check your text messages? Yeah, I got a message, so I'm just asking Google to take me to it. Um, what? It's just at the bottom of the screen. You it's can just that, hit the yeah. notification? What? Where? I right, No, the right. result didn't come in yet. I haven't hit. Sorry. The result? Well, yeah, I, I... Oh my god, you're I adorable. In. You're like the... The coolest grandma I know. Yeah! <laughs> grandma. I'm a teenager. That's funny, I called Cass a grandma earlier. I guess <laughs> we'll funny. just be two grandmas together. Um, and what was the thing the, what? you were saying? There was a that green square, the, the green, green square. square. Just click that. Oh, 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 okay. Need your bifocals. <laughs> <laughs> what does the uh, message say? Right. Uh, I don't know. Is it Morse code? <laughs> Dear Maeve, stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, well, it's a pages. It's a society. So. <laughs> My dearest Maeve, it has been a fortnight since I've contemplated your beauty. I write to inform you that I've recently deceased. <laughs> <laughs> I've been one whole murdered. <laughs> Do not Thank mourn you. me. <laughs> <laughs> Crossover. I just want to hear you do letters Love to the all children. day. Just, yeah. <laughs> all all games must have an epistolary phase from now on. I think so. I, I was like, it. oh, I need letters back. It's That's so text good. messages. We're bringing it back. Fabulous. So Maeve gets a message from Radhika, and it just says, "Please." <gasps> Yo, that's, that's the it. most unsettling message you could ever send someone. <laughs> what the fuck, Terry? You mastermind of evil? Mm -hmm. <laughs> In one word, ruined my life. What do you do? What do you do? What's it say? Uh, Is it from? It's from the missing girl. It says Rod Rodica. It says please. Please what? Please, full stop, end of sentence. She sent one word. I don't Was there don't like a previous what. message or context or something like that? I've never opened a text from her before. Yeah, I didn't know y'all hung out. I didn't know you hung out with anyone. I don't. Wait, are you all hanging out without me? I don't think I... any of us hang out except for Hesty. I don't think I like it. No, I think I like it. Oh, God. She came to my last party. Everyone was at your last party. I wasn't. Well, I was well. outside. That's really weird. Thank you. Is there some way that you, you can take this and uh, <laughs> see where she's sending it from? Is that how do I do that? Where do I click for that? That's a hesty question. Um, what? I don't. You're I all... Don't... Yeah, I'm not a hacker. I can't like triangulate a location. That's insane. Yeah, Sorry. run it through a VPN. A what? I don't know. Ooh. A like a reverse VPN or something. Is know. that a thing? <laughs> Is this a real thing? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 
I have a question. Like, so all of us are um very, we have very specific aesthetics. Uh, and I don't want to stereotype, Maeve, but you have like a very, um, like interview with a vibe about you. And I had um, a vision. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. I'm a witch. And I saw, I saw her on a rug in like a really nice house with a really cute guy, but he had like, you know, bangs. That's not weird, right? Uh, is this what the lipstick thing was about? Yeah, it was a lipstick thing. God. You're saying you saw her with a vampire? Yeah. I just didn't want to say that part out loud in case, you know, someone tried to like 5150 me over it, but and I you, don't know what you, that means. Wait. And you think Maeve would know about it just because she uh, wears a lot of black lace? Pale, doesn't go into the sun and hasn't eaten in all four years of high school. Yeah. I <laughs> eat. You've seen me eat before. I go to I've seen you eat. I've seen you do that thing uh, that I do where you cut the food constantly and push it around the plate. Well, you must have just missed the parts where I was taking a bite. Must now, have. Hester, what did this vampire look like? Um... The the way that you have simply gone with what I said is both really like gratifying and concerning. Uh, and I just go and describe what he looks like because I don't remember. He was handsome. He had like hair and a face and it clothes like, and a body. It was inspired by that Android Wade also, Weber musical. Does he also like to wear shirts? Mm. Mm. Like a little bit, like so, open button. Like every man ever. Like uh, he, there's a lot of men that do not like to wear shirts. Terry, what did he look like? Because I think I just blacked out and started imagining Oscar Isaac. I'm very sorry. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that like sounds Oscar good. Yeah. Cool. I, I, we'll go with Oscar Isaac. He looked I, like, like that. Yeah. I just describe Oscar Isaac to you all. <laughs> like Oscar Isaac? Yeah. Sick. Let's go to there. <laughs> Oh my god, right? <laughs> All right. So, um, fabulous. So you guys are kind of figuring Wait, quick cue. Yeah. yeah. Um, so Hester also explains the environment they were in. Does that sound familiar to Maeve as like a part of her house? <laughs> Is this your house? Is name? Oscar Isaac her dad? <laughs> Her uh, fake dad, her real dad, he, her she daddy. Doesn't, she doesn't have fake or living parents. Her vampire she, daddy. She lives in like a massive modern mansion. And she just says that her parents are, are very rich and that they work in Hollywood. And so they're always away on business. She just lives there alone. Okay. There's not like a nest or something. To the public, that is her home, and that's where she lives, and she lives there with her parents. They're just never there when anyone's over because, oh, my God, you just missed them. They, like, just left for the airport right now. Like, everything you do in your entire life has happening when no one's watching. <laughs> it's, like, so funny how I do all of these normal <laughs> things, but, like, not when people are looking at me. It's so funny how that works. Yeah, um, her house is super slick and modern and uncomfortable and doesn't look like humans have ever personalized it or touched it or uh, done anything other than sanitize it within an inch of its life it's very clearly not lived in like it's a very clearly yeah. staged pristine perfect home uh, so unless that matches the description of Hester's vision okay. it doesn't seem to be her house got it it is not it is not. All right. So um, Hester is going to get a little, little text message as well right now. Oh, hold on. And I start humming like a Beyonce song. <laughs> so I unlock it. <laughs> Baby, it's you. What does it say? It's a message from Anderson Harris. He's asking you to the dance tomorrow night. He's Anderson Harris. Huh? How cute is he? 
Oh, that's a good question. He's pretty, he's like a little, he's dorky cute. He's not like hot. He's a little, a little dorkier. But is he popular? Um, He's got some popular friends. Hmm. We will attempt to better deal it. I will leave it on red. All Who right. is it? Not uh, Radhika. Okay. What? There's a dance tomorrow. You don't know me. I don't owe you anything. Look. Oh, I'm getting everything I want right now. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. If anyone knows anything about this, uh, it's very likely <laughs> when they start talking to students from the school that uh, people are going to start pointing out that the last time they saw her was at this party at my place. And I don't really want to get involved with your law enforcement. So if anyone has any information, if anyone knows maybe where we can uh, track down where the the message came from. I literally told you I had a vision and described it in aggressive detail. I don't know what you're asking for me. I have complied the entire time. I think I could help. Really? I'm just going to... But it's gonna cost you. What's the price? You have to go to the dance with me. Ooh. A high school dance, really. You say that like you're not in high school. No, yeah. I say that like I am in high school and don't want to go to dances. I would like to my to roll. Roll. Have to fun roll. in prison. Wait, what? You want me to roll, Terry? <laughs> I would like cast a role to turn Maeve on. Yeah. Let's what go. turns you on? Is it high school dances? <laughs> <laughs> Good Thanks. thing this is something I'm bad at. Um, <laughs> Nothing turns a lady on like the thought of a, an old man in a tweed jacket saying, six feet apart, leave room for Jesus. Leave room uh, for Jesus. <laughs> Wait, are we at one of those schools or are we at like a public school where it's just real gross in the gym on, on a tarp yep oh hell what? yeah on correct a tarp? on a yeah. tarp yeah you, oh my god you don't just like leave the like don't scuff up the floor you want to scuff up the basketball floor once had a dance on a tarp were yeah, your sports any good no <laughs> no no <laughs> Actually, yeah. our basketball team was pretty good. I mean, yeah. not if you guys were just standing on the floor. But Ugh. we had our dances at the mall. What? Mm. what? We had our what? dances the at the mall. At the How? mall. What part of the mall? Were you in like the Cheesecake Factory just grinding? What? Oh, I come from a small town. There was not no Cheesecake Factory. We, oh. I blew my mind three years after I moved out of town. We got a Red Lobster and I was like, oh shit, it's <laughs> happening. <laughs> Oh, see, every now and then, every now and then, I'm reminded that LA is not the same kind of place to grow up. Midwest, in. baby. That's fair. We it was come. in the mall in front of the fountain. So they just like, it's like the, there's those huge, like, they're not even halls. They're just like giant spaces. And then they fork off into different shop areas. And there's like a master area in the middle that's just like a big circle. And it's got a fancy fountain in there. And then they just put up balloon arches and stuff. In we had a separate the, the... basketball court from uh, our, from like the the cafeteria, which had like that basketball court, like flooring, but we had mm. a separate basketball court. There you go. Fancy. Yeah. yeah I had to stare at a, a, a journeys the entire time I was at prom. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's iconic. <laughs> Amazing. Oh my gosh. So let's, how's, how's your roles going, Vanna? Uh, I got a six. Oh, mm. it, it has to be a seven though, but I have four strings on Maeve. So, ah, you want to pull some of those strings? Maybe can yeah. we do that? Come here. Let's do that. Let's do that. I let's will. add some strings. Um, oh, that's to a that. seven with a string pulled. All right. Great. So, uh, I think, and I think, I think, this, I think the string is just like, you really feel like you feel like with uh, sort of how creepy and how much I follow people around. Maybe I, I do have inside information. Mm. So Maeve, what's your, how do you feel about this? What's your. She's not used to anyone being so forward with her. 
So she would never want to let it show, but she's very into the fact that Cass is just being so like insistent and direct with her um, because she spent so many centuries constantly being the one in power over others all the time. So she kind of pauses for a second and you can see her like, fine, I will go to the dance with you. Happy? I will be. <gasps> uh, and then with that, I'm going to use my heightened senses. I assume we're at Maeve's house by now, if we've mm -hmm. been walking mm -hmm. like. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use my heightened senses move, um, which uh, when you rely on your animal instincts to make a sense of a charged situation, roll with dark on a 10 and up, ask the MC three questions from below and take one forward. Um, on a seven to nine, ask one question from below and take the forward. Okay. So I'm going to roll for that. Fab. And while you're rolling, I just want to tell the chat, thank you so much for unlocking already a couple of our tiers. We have more. We're only 28 subs away from the next uh, unlock. Holy goodness. I can't believe this is real life. I feel like I'm like a little bit out of body right now, but I'm, I'm happy to be here. This is great. <laughs> I really, really, really want to see what other uh, teen horror slash oh, monster they're waiting. pun they're NPC you came up with. <laughs> <laughs> Summer Buffett lives in my brain rent free right now. Right? It's so well, good. It's got to be a little bay, you know. Got to go. Little, always have a Buffett in a, in a, in a, in a, in a Salt Bay show. <laughs> there is no Salt Bay without a Buffett, right? Hundred <laughs> um, percent. What you got, Cass? So I did not roll high enough. I got. I rolled a six, and I have negative one to dark normally. Okay, but. When the moon is out, I get a plus three to dark. And there's a full moon tonight. And sometimes when there's a not full right moon. Not right now. So we're going to have to get out okay. during it's the day. Okay to, it's okay to fail. I'm going to let you but know Mae's that again. going to hate me. <laughs> no, she already said yes to you. Yeah, so I said I, yes with the promise of her doing stuff. Right. Girl's not going to be able to do stuff now. Dang. Oh, oh. Mm. Uh, uh oh well maybe there'll be other opportunities we'll figure something else out but it's okay if you fail i'm sorry i didn't do re-rolls on this game because no if you're you fine fail it adds experience in the monster way. hearts so it'll actually get you closer to your darker self which actually might make you more powerful it so doesn't you. oh okay. <laughs> she's not feeling more powerful right now it's okay it's okay uh, you're beautiful still though and you got a date maybe okay. so i think i think what happens is uh is is uh Cass just starts like sniffing around the house like not even like trying to conceal what she's doing and she's just like what and i think she gets like a whiff of something but she's like i think maybe she just doesn't know ricola well enough uh and can't can't get a sense of her. Ricola is Rodica. Mm -hmm. I'm calling her Ricola. Okay. Ricola. So I think it's just through the, like the mix of smells that are at the party. Like she can't single out Ricola's smell. That sounds about right. That does happen sometimes when there's too many people. Mm -hmm. Um all right. What do you guys think about about her sniffing around? Anyone got anything to say about that before we move? I think correct anyone notice mm -hmm. correct me if you feel differently vanna i feel like uh Maeve probably had it confirmed for her that Cass was not human and was was other when she saved her from being staked essentially i think that's uh, so probably true i think this is one of those things where they don't necessarily directly on the nose acknowledge each other's otherworldliness um but they both clearly know what the other one is mm -hmm. so i think it's one of those things where Maeve is very like like her her lip kind of curls and it's kind of gross to to see you know the werewolf senses being put to work in her beautiful vampire home but it's not a surprise to her all right all of you all are going to get texts at the same time ding 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 
That was a terrible text sound. Whatever, whatever you guys have. <laughs> my my <Whoa>. my ringtone goes. <laughs> oh my god, we're just really on the nose. So Do I know? Nose. So on Do the I nose. know you're a vampire I told, or a I said werewolf. From the beginning, she does nothing. She doesn't say yeah. it outright. She's, She's not subtle. She's not good at hiding it. it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm, it's not that I'm not good at it. It's that I don't give a fuck. I don't try to hide it. Yeah, that's fair. I um, literally do werewolf party tricks. <laughs> that's fair. Cool. Okay, Balto, Ooh, what's up? Wait. Sorry. What if I what if I saved you at your party? Like I wasn't invited, but I was like creeping outside, smoking I... cigarettes, and then something happened out like on your back patio or something. What I would imagine is that Maeve took someone outside to feed on them and uh they were not successfully like glamored or, or hypnotized in a way that made it an automatic uh, success on her part. And so in their self-defense, they tried to fight her off and they probably didn't know she was straight up. They probably didn't a hundred percent believe she was a vampire, but still went for the stabby stabs. And since you were obsessively watching her property from outside, uh, I think you would have caught that. And You're welcome. <laughs> Yikes. I think so much. That was at that party, yeah. I'm just out here playing Pokemans. Pokemon Go. Yeah. I just got kind of lost. Wow, you can Pokemon Go away. Thanks so much. Oh, I thought that was going somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, later. I thought it was too. You all got texts at the same time though. Anyone gonna check their phones? Yeah, what does yeah. it say? Oh my gosh, crazy. The, the school is saying you, that you guys all have to be brought back. You guys all have to ant, like go through some questioning. Uh, they're really still trying to find this girl. So what did they know what we do left? you do? Too snitched. What, do you um, what does yours say? The authorities want us to answer questions about the girl oh yeah mine says that too delete <laughs> anyway <laughs> pass uh that's what mine says no no uh the nose oh uh no luck Sorry. I, I wasn't asking for luck. I was asking for expertise. Results. Maybe if you didn't invite so many people over to your house, it wouldn't smell like a fucking barnyard, Maeve. Um, are you party shaming her? Because that's super fucked up. I don't invite that many. They just show up. That's what happens when you're popular. Yeah, it's called locking the door. And if you were popular, you know, maybe you would actually have confidants and people that you shared your deepest secrets with. But do you? Um, do you need some water? Because you're a little sweaty right now. Thank you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Mm -hmm. uh, Robert, do you talk? I forgot. Sometimes. Cool. Well, I'm trying to keep up with the conversation. And I'm not sure who I'm rooting for. Ooh. <laughs> That's fair. Well, she's like a werewolf, basically. I don't know. You have a lot of moons on things and you howl a lot. So it's either that or you're a furry. Either is valid. It's super fine. Um, like I said earlier, I think she's a bit like, what, what's your deal? What are you doing? What, what is your thing? Are you just sad? Like what's up? I'm not sad. I'm nothing. Oh, um, that's actually the saddest thing I've ever heard. I think. <laughs> It's not uncommon for teenage boys. I've definitely heard it before. Why do you say that like you're not a teenage girl? This is why I say that you're like a really old vampire. I watched all the Twilight movies and I feel like you're all the ones from Italy that wore those robes that were super mean. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure at what point I ever made you think I was either Italian or mean, but apologies for misleading you. Uh, I transferred schools and knew a lot of boys like that at my last school. So thanks Did for that. Did you make them that way with your personality? And you were defending her two seconds ago. This is wild. That was playful ribbing. We're fun. We're having fun. Oh, my God. Oh, In May's yeah. defense, there's only like six types of people. What? Please yeah. list them. Oh, my God. Yeah, what? 
Do you have drawings to go along with them? Um, well, I, I did a drawing of, of us outside the school, but that's. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, remember us when you're famous. <laughs> I, I, Shit's what wild. Was, what was that coming out of the windows of the schools? Was there land uh, sale there? Yeah. yeah. So did we burn the school down or did we flee because someone else had burned it? Oh. I like to think we were just watching it as it burned. Huh. Huh. Um, wow. Cut to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the school apparently, I guess, is up in flames. You guys are all getting an emergency no! text message again. Stop it. You made You're it lying. happen. You're Why, lying, would lie? Why would I lie? Why would I lie? Why would I lie? What? Hey, you guys, do you see this? Like, our school's trending. I think it's on fire. <laughs> wait, wait um, Terry, is this real? Why not? <laughs> okay. Whoa, wait, Robert, did you set the school on fire with your mind? Oh, my God. As far as I'm, I am aware, I don't have the ability to do that. <gasps> what do you oh, you have, have the powder. Ability? What's that mean? No, like, from powder... They could do stuff with their mind. What's power? I cannot, I cannot do anything with my mind, but I am nothing like that character. Okay. <laughs> do you all have anything at the school that you need to check on or anybody you need to check I think on? Terry wants us to go to the school, fam. No, no. I'm just asking if you have anybody there or anything. I mean, I have a crush on the nurse, so I might go check on her. I mean, are we, like, what do we plan on doing? Like, I'm not a hero, so I don't know. Like, are we going back and, like, saving the day like what what are we doing why are we it looking like we're gonna go and walk back that's it wild it would be fun to watch it burn um excuse me we got a text like two seconds ago that like they wanted to question us and i'm not like going down with murder like maybe uh, maybe the detectives yeah. will just be distracted by other stuff and we can find radica and not be near the scene of a crime that i think powder did his name's robert um, he also likes to be called Bobby. Oh, don't, Bobby. How about Bobby. Bobbert? Bobbert. Whatever. Bobby boy. You like giving nicknames. Is that because you don't feel close to people? Yeah. Oh my God. Are you a therapist? No. Is having people listen to you on the internet giving you a false sense of uh, priority and platform? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Okay, this has been a lot of having like you. people in my home. So if wait, are we inside? <gasps> I look Can around. I There's so this? many chairs, and none of them look like they're comfortable to sit in. Expensive things usually aren't comfortable. I've learned. Mm -hmm. Shall we? Oh yeah, I just need to check something really quick. Uh, and she's going to like scurry over and open the fridge. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> All right. Are you going to let her get in your fridge, Maeve? <laughs> uh, Maeve? I just want to grab pizza rolls. Maeve or do you want to try to shut her down? <laughs> you can also try to shut her down. You can roll to shut this down, depending mm -hmm. on what's in there. Oh, God dang it. Okay. Maeve is going to move to the kitchen like faster than you can imagine that she would be able to move. And she's going to kind of slide in front of the fridge and just try and say, um, what kind of hostess would I be if I didn't offer to get your pizza rolls for you? If you would just like to rejoin the group, I'm sure I can whip something up. I'll just wait. I uh, I like to watch a woman work in the kitchen. Let's see you roll for it, Maeve. That's rolling to shut someone down. You're going to roll with your cold. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm trying to find my light, and I'm just taking pictures in this very aesthetic <laughs> house. <laughs> uh, that is a seven. All right. That'll work. A seven and nine. Um, You get to choose for one of these. They either lose a string on you. Um, if they have no strings to gain one or, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still have three strings on you. Okay. Uh, that's a success though. Yeah. I'm going to say, 
didn't lose a string on me. All right, mm. I still get two more. Only <laughs> Wait, Terry, how do we gain a, str a string again? Um, uh, gaining a string, I think you still, that's a good question. I don't know. Hold on. That's okay. Sorry. It's not important. That's okay. Um, I just know about losing them because that helps you get closer, I think, to your darker self and stuff too. If um, you lose a string? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've lost the two. More... How is that supposed to affect? Let me go over here. Mm -hmm. I'm on the Google. I'll just do that. I think that'll count towards this. It's going to get you closer to your um, advancement. Oh, so I should add to. Okay, I've I've cleared two strings, so I should okay. think I have three total. Okay. Great. All right. So, uh, Maeve just says like. I, uh, I'll whip something up for you and see if I have any of those pizza rolls you like so much. Why don't you go rejoin the others and see if you can deliver on your promise to help me retrieve the missing girl. There's the sound of something uh, breaking in the living room. And he's <laughs> like, was that expensive? <laughs> I'll go check on powder. <laughs> Oh my God, Robert, you. you're the uh, wildest. And I turned to try to get whatever <laughs> they broke in the shot. You wouldn't let me see this, Goulburn. Oh, <laughs> I'm super sorry. Iconic. Do you want to go back? No, I broke that. So now you're just good? Mm-hmm. Oh my God, what's your deal? I'm trying very hard to not use magic on you. Mm. Do you use magic because you think it gives you control over your own life? Yeah, I have helicopter parents, 100%. This gives me a sub. I'm a senior, my mom drops me off in the morning on time. Yeah, I use magic to like make my own way in the world, obviously. Mm. Ask a hard question. <laughs> And all of a sudden, there is a knock at the door. Maeve reemerges with a tray that has like a clearly previously opened bag of chips. Like it's been already rolled back in, uh, and like Jägermeister and tonic water. And Ew. she has no like, idea. <laughs> <laughs> this she is what the youths enjoy. She has high school party <laughs> supplies and blood. Like that's it. That's all she has at her disposal. So she oh kind of like quickly pops that tray down for them. And she goes, please help yourselves. Uh, and then you can see her kind of fix herself up a little bit and go to answer the door. All right. Chips are soft. Don't eat the chips. Like wet? <laughs> like wet soft? You know, like when they get kind of soft because they're old, it's like that. They're not crispy anymore. Um, so I'm just going to, and I just uh, go and throw them away. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, hey, it's I'm disgusting. Those. Ew, have some self respect, Robert. I like soggy chips. <laughs> you guys Cass are all just the worst. Eats a handful. <laughs> You're all terrible. And takes a swig of the Jaeger. <laughs> oh, gross. I should mention she didn't provide cups. No, <laughs> no. no it takes a swig bottle. out the bottle. It, it, yeah, felt yeah, like, yeah. it felt like you didn't have cups. Robert yeah, just grabs like the, the tiny little uh, tonic water, like the little, <laughs> just starts drinking it. Uh, Y'all are wild. <laughs> oh, got to Mave at the door. Um, and you open the door, Maeve. Yes. There's nobody there, but you feel like someone was just there. Ooh. What do you do? I would like to look around and see if there's any actual evidence of someone having being, been here. Mm-hmm. Does anything look taken? Does it look like the grass in front of the house has been walked over? Doesn't look like anything's been taken, but there's grass has definitely been walked over. There's somebody was definitely there. I would like to look and see, at the very least, if I can tell the difference between like 
high heel marks or just big footprints or any mm-hmm. any kind of detail like that. You want to figure out the size of it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we have that, B. I feel like I don't know what the investigate is. This is me trying to figure out things. Um... I feel like the closest thing is like gaze into the abyss if she yeah. is trying to yeah. do like yeah yeah let's do that thank you okay all right so I'm looking for information about the trespasser essentially mm-hmm. sure uh, you asked specifically about shoes yeah all right okay so you're gonna roll with your dark that is Oh, I have a four. Mm. That's, yeah, that's not going to get you uh, really any information. Mm, they were wearing shoes. Mm-hmm. Do you want to enlist any one of your <laughs> fellow, <laughs> <laughs> any one of your fellow uh, friends, anyone else who might be able to help? Yeah, Maeve, upon realizing that she's this is not her area of expertise, is going to go inside and she's going to uh, go up to Cass and she's just going to kind of uh, put, put a hand behind her shoulder and say, outside, someone just came, rang the doorbell and left. Does that happen a lot? I mean, no, no, this is unusual. Hence me bringing it up to you. Do you think you could? Well, it doesn't look like you're here very often, so I'm not sure how you'd know. Is this loud enough for us to hear, or is it just a whisper? Is this a sidebar? No, I'm, she's. I'm she's not being subtle. Full volume. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are other people in the house that can also be helpful, not just Cass. Would you? And like I nudge to- Robert. Mm-hmm. By all means, investigate. Okay. Shall we, Robert? Sure. You're fun to mess with. This is fun for me. And I want to walk outside and uh, pull out that same lipstick and then just start marking the like the little glass in the like window, like the little peephole window, and just mark it up. And I want to gaze into the abyss again. to see who was here earlier let us know what you get yeah roll it roll it roll it roll Um, it while you're rolling um i think actually uh one of the experiences that went to me should actually go to negs because when i use a string on her and she agrees to it then she should get an experience get an experience on that track perfect and then you can gain strings by turning someone on or shutting someone down there or you go. something that it specifically should say on your character skin. Oh, so you would have gained one from earlier then. From what? From when you asked Maeve to the dance. Because that was successful. Mm. It wasn't successful. Half right? of it was. You, you had one. You had, it a, had a success and a fail, right? A three oh, yeah. then yes. I would. Oh, then I have another string on you, I think. <laughs> Oh, why did I bring that up? I shouldn't have mentioned that. Whoopsie. <laughs> yeah. Oops. I got seven. Okay. So, um, perfect. All right. So, you're getting some confusing and alarming visions, uh, but you're going to get a little bit of an answer nonetheless. It was a female who came by. Um kind of uh, energetic female to stop by maybe lurking around. Does it smell like summer buff dust? Summer breeze makes me feel fine. Summer summer buffet. Yeah, Ooh, it might it might be. Call her. It might be. Yeah, summer buffet. Mm-hmm. Uh what do y'all do? Uh, I would, when I do this, I say it out loud so you guys all have the information that I have from the vision. What were you going to say, Eric? I, I will also gaze into the abyss. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Since we're all doing it, I want to be <laughs> uh, 
like everyone else. Let's see how Gaze well into I roll. It. Look into uh, it. Will an 11 do it? Oh, shoot. Okay, yeah. It was definitely it was definitely Summer Buffet um, who, um, who was, was lurking by. She's still not too far, it feels like. It seems that she... Uh, it was that I, girl, Summer. She's down the street. Su mm. Who's Summer? The girl from the bathroom? Oh, what is she doing here? Do you know her, Maeve? Not yet. Do who would hang outside? Her? Who would hang outside your house unannounced and uh, stare into your windows? Oh my God, you, Cass! You're describing you. I mean, it doesn't. <laughs> it sounded familiar. It sounded familiar. Oh my God, it doesn't make it, it. It doesn't make any sense except for the fact that she showed up. Uh, which introduced in school, uh, Maeve got up and left and Summer immediately left and followed you to the bathroom. But apart from that, I can't imagine why. So do oh you God. just have a photographic memory or you're also like Cass and you're obsessed with me as well? What? You're no. Conceded. He literally just described beat by beat exactly what my movements were this morning it's not conceited to ask if he's also standing outside my house stalking me like Cass's. i don't stand That's outside fair. your house that seems i don't have to i do watch you though I, I i'd like i'd like to see how 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 someone who's good at hiding does it um, i don't i don't hide what hmm? okay let's go get this summer girl Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, excuse me, Robert, can I please have your consent to do a magic on you for a second? Sure. Oh, oh my God, thank you. And she's gonna blow a bunch of brick dust into his face and I wanna cast Ring, Ring of Lies. I'm gonna hex him. Ooh, wait, what does that do? Uh, whenever the person attempts to lie, they hear a piercing ringing noise. Big lies will often make their knees buckle and disorient them, and severe lies will cause harm or even brain damage. And yeah. I rolled box cars on my hex casting roll. So holy goodness! Okay, what's a yeah. box car? Uh, double sixes, sixes, baby. Sixes. I've never heard that before. Yeah, you don't you play, play a lot more of dice. Craps. <laughs> I tried to play craps once and I am not smart enough, I swear. <laughs> we were like, luck be a lady today. Be tonight. <laughs> Never get out of my roll side. Em, roll them, roll them, snake luck guys, roll them. If em. you ever were a lady to begin with, luck be a lady tonight. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right. Should we take a pee break? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. to go. Since we I, we just did a musical interlude, it feels. <laughs> oh, that does feel about right. And we're also probably about to cut to another scene when we get back. Perfect. So uh let's let's is, is that possible? Voice of yeah. God. Yeah. Okay. But we should finish the the question. Is it okay? Yeah, the finish? question. I don't want to lose the what? I just rolled boxcars. Oh, I didn't want to. It's cool. Yeah. We'll come oh, back to it. I, okay. forgot, we'll back to it. I forgot why boxcars came. <laughs> My, we can leave that as a cliffhanger. That's attention fine. Attention span yeah, this so. big. No, I want to hear the boxcars. Okay. What are we doing? I'm confused again. I you think we take the break. She, yeah, yeah, you're hexed, but it's so that you tell the truth. So anytime oh, she yeah. asks you questions, if if you lie, you're gonna have we're gonna you're gonna experience something. So we all might know, and she might know, depending on how you react to it. But given his normal state, I don't know if that's going to give you any type of reaction because I think you might always hear. Well, he, he doesn't have a fair. soul. He can still <laughs> feel pain and he discomfort. Can, yeah. He might also always just hear hell. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so she just very casually, like still super chipper, just going to ask, what are you? But every reflective surface around you, Robert, like also you hear a voice from behind it asking you it in like a different like tone. And it's like generations of witches asking you simultaneously. I'm Robert Walton. That's who, what? I'm my parents' son. Are you a normal human? I was supposed to be. What happened? 
My parents got what they asked for. What did they ask for, Robert? A healthy baby boy. Are you alive? Yes. I think. Why are you sad? I don't feel. Why do you watch Maeve? Because she's good at hiding from people. What do you want to hide? She's good at hiding that she's not people. And what I need to be better at it. What do you think you are? Empty. Hmm. And I'll stop it there. Yeah. I like wanna meta and look at this uh, the skin sheet because this uh, type is so interesting. It's so cool. Right? Right? <laughs> the hollow is so freaking dope. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well. And I just want to do the like and kind of like wipe the dust off. Like, I'm sorry. Thank you. Are you okay? Yes. It's okay. Are you mad at me? No. Okay. Oh no, the spell's off. Maybe you're lying. <laughs> she's gonna walk away. You're like Wonder Woman with her lasso of truth. Like who? <laughs> Different frames of pop culture. That's fun. The yeah, Amazonian fun. princess. Yeah, the yeah, Amazonian princess, Vanna. Diana right. Prince. She was oh. also made from a wish. She what? was, wasn't she? And wishes are also? the dreams our hearts make. Wait. Wait, are you a princess? I'm confused again. Yo, Princess Hollow. Let's princess, go. Uh, I'm going to call you Princess Empty. Aw. <laughs> I should have right. asked if you wanted to be friends with me. Oh man, next time. Um, and your characters are killing me right now. I just, it's it reminding me of my nieces because they're young and cool and tell me about TikTok. Um, so uh, it's true. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yes, I know some of those things. Uh, <laughs> some of these phraseologies. Um, fabulous. So um, thank you guys so much. Re you guys keep unlocking more wonderful NPCs to join this party. So I cannot wait to keep bringing them in. We're only 41 subs away, I think, from our next one because you've already unlocked one, two, three already. Holy goodness. Um, I really do appreciate that. And um, we have a super goal later too. Uh, I believe Negs is put on the table. Cause she out of the salt base here is not GM'd us yet. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Uh, we were just going to go back to our show, but we would love at some point coming up in 2021 here that you GM us. And if chat will also like to see Meg's GM a show for real, for real, uh, make sure we get those, that sub on, right? Subs on subs I'm, on. I've never GM'd before. What? But yeah, I've never ever jammed before. What? I already know which system I would want to do and what kind of campaign I would want to do. Wait, so. oh, tease us. Tease yeah. us. What, can you tease us, please, please? Uh, um, I don't know if it's too little of a tease. If you know me, it's based on my favorite movie of all time. I don't know if, if anyone knows what it is, though. So I don't know if that's Batman. Not Kramer versus Cats Kramer. Dance. <laughs> Cats? Oh, That's a great movie. Guesses. Okay. Uh, I have an emote that relates to it on my channel. And I know some Shrek. of my... Oh, no. But now I should do Shrek. Oh, my God. That's so cute. <gasps> Bridge over the River Kwai. <laughs> what emote would that be? Wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> something with, like, some bamboo or something. I don't know. Something's <laughs> got to give. How the Grinch stole you Christmas. Have that, you, don't you have that emote? Yeah, you've, you've got, got that. Mail? Yeah. You've got an emote of Alec Guinness, right? That's. <laughs> I'm that telling y'all in the chat. So you can decide how to. Oh, yeah, for Chisel. That. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that would be good. I've done, we talked about this because I did the musical version of that particular film when I was in Edinburgh last summer. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. 
Um, uh, amazing. Uh, oh, people know Joe Banana knows in chat. Look at that, Banana all day. Nice work, kids. Shout all out right, Joba, for knowing me well and knowing my. my I've never heard of it. <laughs> It's a little film. It was really is that independent. A, is Bindi. that the sequel to Gosford Park? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my God. Can you imagine? <laughs> Would watch. Okay. That's kind of like good society into like this next. I mean, that's a nice little bridge. We're just the in between world right here. <laughs> Amazing. I don't All remember right. that happening in Jurassic Park, to be fair. The, uh, the T-Rex playing a vibraphone. Is that what that thing is? It's, it's a melodica. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> I, know, I remember that part. I remember well, that. That's why we have to rewatch it together. Mm, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I really, I, I really like all the, uh, the other ones that got subsequent, subsequently worse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like everyone hates the one with like the pterodactyl dome. And I'm like, hell yeah. Steal okay. those eggs. Fam. No, I like them too. <laughs> they're so good. The further you get, I think they're so re It's the re like ridiculous. Yeah. I like the third them. one is better Wait. than the second one in terms of actual dinosaur sure. stuff, but we'll talk about that another time. We're not ready for that conversation right now. Oh my God. We'll start a podcast. Okay. What? That's what I heard. That's what I heard. I can't wait to hear it. Ooh. Yes, please. I was like, yeah, Megs and Van on parks. I don't know. Um, Jurassic, that is. Anyway, back to Monster Hearts. How about that? That's the game we're playing tonight. Thank you guys for all these subs. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You guys really want Vanna to GM, I I'm guessing. That's good. Next. That's good. Next. Sorry, Vanna. Vanna. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We have not yet done the fusion dance. This That's is vodka the, and Red Bull. That's yes. the biggest compliment I've ever received in my entire life. Yes. Someone looking at me and saying Vanna instead. <laughs> Someday. I, we, we take those. Cheers. That's not Vanna. That's my wife. <laughs> same difference. Oh, same, oh, same. I love it. I love you both so much. I, my apologies. I am hopped up. Okay. Let's <laughs> uppers and downers, uppers and downers, Terry. <laughs> I well, I ate like a whole plate of carbs before we started, so I was like, I'm gonna need Terry, something to wake a me lot back going up. On in your body right now. <laughs> there is, you guys, at work today. I literally the last thing I did, I like called to bring on my way home. I like was cleaning up some shelves I, and putting beer on shelves today for my job, my day job as an essential worker putting beer into into people's lives a whole freaking can exploded all over me i literally smell like disgusting delicious beer, right no it's oh it's, disgusting sorry no deli yeah, delicious mango i smell, I smell like a mango like ipa right now Ooh, i'm covered it. so i feel like that smells good though who would ever drink any mango flavored uh drinks do you have a mango white, white claw? claw? Mango White Claw? Where, where did that White Claw come Please from? text me a White Claw right now. Thank mango you. Mango Ivory okay. Talon. Mango Ivory Talon. Ivory Talon. Oh All right. So back to this Monster Hearts. <laughs> we got our, our amazing, beautiful crew. We got our little wear, our wear, a wear person uh, cast here. We got our little, our lovely TikTok wit, Chester. We've got Robert, the hollow, who knows what. He's just hollow. <laughs> he's like yeah whatever and we've got Maeve our beautiful vampire um of a certain age who knows um and they're off to go find um out what's going on with um their uh, Buffy uh summer Bu oh sorry summer buffet <laughs> <laughs> um has been lurking around Maeve's place um uh, one of their classmates Radhika um McDowell has gone missing um, they've had visions of her and, and seen maybe where she might be in somebody's lair, but they're not quite sure where that lair may be. Mm -hmm. Love it. All right. So you guys going to choose to, uh, We're, are we all aware of the summer situation now? That's yeah. Good question. I pointed it out. Perfect. Yeah. Robert uh, just laid that. I, I walked that out tea. I walked out in the lawn, then my eyes rolled back in my head, and then they came back, and I was like, and, She's I, down and, the, and you peed your pants. Yeah. <laughs> did, did, did his nose bleed right after? Like, what yeah. Happened? Yeah. <laughs> Just stuff come out of everywhere. Robert's <laughs> hollow. There's nothing on the inside, like those crappy, like, Easter bunnies. To you don't need bunny. a soul to take a dump. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. So I have follow up questions, but I'll save them yeah. for the chat back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
okay okay wow all right oh sorry i'm looking at too many notes okay so yeah so um do you guys want to head out you guys are heading out after summer or what do you want to do I think so. You want to make I a think, plan? I think someone is encringing on my creeping grounds. So that's pretty much pissing me off. So I think I'm going to I'm going to go after her full force. Maybe do you want to let them know anything they might want to know about this summer? Maeve is going to kind of sigh and roll her eyes a bit and go I think she's a vampire hunter. Well, that's interesting. What would she be doing here? I can't imagine. Hester mentioned the man with the fangs. In your house? It was not in my house. Hester, you've been to my home. Can you confirm that? Yeah, it's not here. I would have just said that. I've been here loads of times. Right, Thank but you. Summer is here, so and Summer's a vampire hunter, so why isn't she somewhere where the vampire is and instead at your house where there is no vampire? Maybe because the girl was taken by a vampire and the last place she was seen is my house, mm -hmm. so Summer came to mm -hmm. investigate. Are we not just going to say it? That makes she's perfect in, she's sense. In denial. I'm just going to go grab a juice really quick out of the fridge before we... Uh, can you grab me one too? Um, I don't drink Jaeger because that's disgusting. I can grab that for you. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't Stay worry, here I and talk to me. <laughs> Seems rather I, rude to just go into somebody's place and take things. I think um, Kaz just wanted to see her sweat. She's not actually going to go in there. <laughs> I was going to ask you to like for these. that again. <laughs> can we just go? Can we please? Can we chase down the girl hunting the girl and the man and just get this all resolved girl hunting the girl yeah mm -hmm. do that sure. <laughs> i had plans at five but i guess if we get done early yeah what, Wait, you what are you gonna do hmm. well i was gonna burn the school down but i guess i have to push <laughs> oh that God. back someone beat you to it push that back when are you gonna <laughs> there's no school left when are you gonna well, do that no there's schools this one yeah, there's more than one school. You yourself transferred, did you not? Why would he want to burn down a school that's not his own? Are none of you from the school district? What is your deals? I'm Ooh. from here. Okay, cool. Uh, and I, think I was made I, here. I think Cass is just going to whip around the corner of the house and uh, and follow like any sort of like tracks around the the hedging i imagine is outside the home <laughs> go get Rather. him scooby doo wow <laughs> <laughs> well, all right uh cut to um uh, uh the gang um how are you guys going to how are you guys going to try to follow where how are you going to try to track buffy i mean summer buffet uh i can try and use my heightened senses again Okay. Ooh, I got a seven plus. Do I do a plus to that? Yeah. Oh, I have a negative to that actually. I love oh, so it failed. Oh, <laughs> dang it. Well, if the dang moon was out. This would be a different story here. Well, sorry. It's still earlier in the day. It's not quite that. It's probably like lunchtime now because you guys have lollygagged and hung out and talked and chatted and, yeah. you know, living this life. Um, Maeve, why can you be outside during the day? Why can you be outside during the day? Because um, I'm not a vampire. Haven't you seen the Blade movies, Hesty? The what? I don't know how to relate to you. <laughs> Just, I have no idea. Um, you understand uh, Scooby-Doo, but you don't know Blade. Yeah, I feel like that tells you exactly what you need to know about my home life. It, it tells... No. It's... What's Maeve Blade's? Is gonna walk, Maeve is going to walk very quickly up to Hester. And she's going to kind of like put a thumb and a 
point her finger on her chin and lift it up. And she's going to say, I have not survived as long as I have by letting chatty little girls like you spread my secret. You're Kill different. her. You're different, and I know you're different. So I'm going to trust that you can keep this bit of information to yourself. Are you going to do that for me? <clears throat> um, Are you going to do that for me? I want to make you roll for it. I was going to say <laughs> roll to turn her on because I don't know or what do you what are what do you want to use? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think definitely... it's shut down, but I mean maybe it's a yeah. sexy thing. It's day. whatever your vibe is. <laughs> she's definitely trying to arouse her with what she's doing here. A hundred percent. Felt it. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. I was Karen like, oh, I, I was I like, she's just dominating what this sex conversation. Is. <laughs> what sex are <laughs> uh, that is eight that's an eight. Oh yeah that works so uh you wanna, yeah. um, i'll promise something you think you want like for sure um yeah uh okay i won't say anything i just wanted to know you are very close to me right now and i'm afraid Cass is gonna fight me if this hand uh, continues any longer you, Cass is in the background, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Let me be very clear. This is very good for me, but I also don't want to get into a fight. I'll protect you, little one. What were you going to say? Oh, I don't know. What? Um, I think she just turns bright red and starts mumbling. And uh, Maeve is going to kind of just boop her nose like this and yeah. kind of clock her chin up a little bit and turn and walk away are we gonna go get this buffet girl or what well you didn't slit her throat what not until later can we please get going <sighs> yeah you're like my stepmom's pomeranian oh <laughs> that's the away. nicest thing anyone's ever said to me <laughs> So do you have any ideas maybe of where where the the a vampy person might be? A vampy person might be. So you have some options of some potential places. There might be kind of the local. It's this place called the church. It's not really a church. It's really where they have like the punk rock shows and concerts and things like that. That's a converted old church. Um, so it's not like sanctified anymore. So it's safe for all kinds of elements to enter and as they please um without uh worry of, of any types of infraction um there's also um a, a place not too far from there that's you know um more secluded and outdoors um i don't know you 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 let me know which which way you're you're feeling your nose might go i think Maeve would, I think Maeve would kind of prod Hester to do your um, makeup thing you do, the, the lipstick in the mirror that you did earlier that gave you the answers. Okay, um, what do you want to know? Where do we find the buffet girl? Oh, I did that earlier. Um, and she's a, like a very, well, okay, sorry, I'll ask again. Uh, and she pulls out her phone, <laughs> a black mirror. Blah, there's the joke. Uh, and does the same thing on her tiny phone. And I would like to once again, uh, gaze into the abyss. But I rolled very badly. It's a five. <laughs> Yowza. <laughs> boop. What are our rolls? Boop, boop, boop. I mean, they are tired. Uh, they don't want to give you anything. They don't want to. So sorry. I will also do it because I seem to have an affinity for it. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. 13. So it goes, well, I mean, we could always, and he just like head talks back and lifts <laughs> like, like he passed out, like from the neck <laughs> up and then comes back. Uh, we could always go to the church because that's where she is. Sure. You just know that's where she is? That's where I saw her. Oh, you can do it too. Cool. Do what? Right. Let's get going. <laughs> uh, <okay>. All right. 
<laughs> Cut to <laughs> the Scooby gangs at the church now. <laughs> um, as you guys walk up to the church, um, you notice it looks a little different than it usually does there. It's got like more trash and stuff outside and it looks like a little more unkempt than usual. Um, you also notice some basketball shoe footprints and some other, some other folks that look a little fresh um, and, and some other like boots and some other uh, shoes as well. Uh, so you're not sure who might be lurking around inside, but there's often a lot of people around depending on the shows um, and things that are happening. There's probably going to be a show here for the full moon too. I mean, you know, this town only gets into full moon stuff for sure. Um, as you do. Um, and so, um, the church is beautiful, but, but older. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As they approach Robert, just yells out, yo, Tina, you here, you fuckwit? Uh, <laughs> how come you yeah. don't have a cute nickname for me? <laughs> You hear like a grumble, grumble, grumble. As someone comes to the door, pops it open. What's up? I'm looking for a new girl. All right. You What's... dating somebody else? You're dating somebody oh, at all? No. What? She... Oh my God, Robert, she... do you date people? No. Is she here? What do you, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Is there, is there some girl who you've never seen before who's here? I feel like I've seen everybody before. All you, all the kids kind of look the same to me around here. There's this oh, fuck it. Don't I know it? Kids with some basketball, the like basketball like team. They're talking about doing like a sh come here for a show later. Oh my god! The chat unlock High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh -oh. Don't lie. Okay. I did not know. Now I now I need now I now I feel like that was a missed opportunity for a damn tear. <laughs> no, it was gonna be. We're all in this. Together. No, it's the no, basketball one. It's get your head in the game. Yes. I was gonna. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Get your head in the game. Get your head back in the game, Vanna. <laughs> oh my god. No so cast. No. Only know one song. <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. No. Uh. Uh. uh they got some new guy on the team. So this one that just, I don't know, they're throwing a party or something with him tonight. His name is Foxy J. He's, he's something. Uh -huh. name, Foxy. Sure. We're looking, we're looking for a girl named Summer Buffett. She looks like this. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in there. I don't know. Okay. You can take Thank a look you. though, if you guys want to come in. <laughs> You though, you're very intimidating, but no disrespect. It's like, it's a lot, but I like it. Which one of us are you talking about? Oh my God, to? I get that a lot. <laughs> I, kind of all of you at the same time. It's a lot. Aww. Mine was a joke, but now I like it. It's because right. uh, the highlighter. On the outside, they seem intimidating. On the inside, they're worse. <gasps> oh uh, my God, Robert. Sounds like my ex-wife. All right, come on in kids. <laughs> Why, is, why are we hanging around this I like Tina. <laughs> We're Someone's nice. got to run the place. <laughs> At least I keep it mostly clean. He doesn't ask questions. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm worried about. Okay. What, you got worries for me? What? Oh, I was above game. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you guys head inside to the church. Um, the church doesn't look like a church that used, used to be. It's kind of like got some, like a bunch of graffiti, like and cool, like art and murals and stuff. It's like the cool hangout that the kids, the, the young kids go to. Um, and so it's got um, a stage on the front, um, you know, amps and stuff like that. Looks like it's getting set up for an event. There's a whole bunch of cool lights in there. It just, it's got a cool lighting concept. Um, it's like all kinds of different colors, like intelligent lights. It looks like they're running kind of the stuff, getting ready, um, to throw some sort of shindig in there. Um, it's kind of like the anti, the anti winter formal, maybe, uh, against the, the regular school program sanction one, um, is happening. And you see a group of guys, um, basketball team and, and, and the new guy, Foxy J, um, is hanging out there. Um, definitely checks. Oh yeah. 
Hester's he's definitely he definitely clocks you as soon as you hey. walk in. Oh my god, hi. hi. Hey. I can't talk right now. I'm in the middle of like a super important mission, but like, hey. All right. Cool. Tight. Tight, tight, tight. Uh cool. <laughs> this is riveting. <laughs> Cass, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what? What? You seem just really taking familiar. notes. Uh, you seem really familiar too. H how are you? Are you talking? Who are? Who is anyone ever talking to? <laughs> I was talking to you. I seem familiar to you. Yeah, for some reason. Are we all good? Same school, but like whatever. <laughs> oh, I just I'm. Well, that's because Cass is the Zodiac killer. For real. What? Bobby, gotta quit uh, making me blush. <laughs> yeah, I bet you're a killer, killer breaker of hearts or something, huh? Oh my God, the, Foxy, the you're a lot. You? <laughs> the fuck are you? <laughs> yeah, I am a lot. I'm a lot. Uh, yeah, we're looking so for summer. Little, you seen her? Oh, uh, oh, new girl. Yeah, yeah. Um, my friend Bobby was like talking to her. Oh my god, there's so many trying, Bobbies here. Yeah, <laughs> she's trying to. I think she's trying to find an ex of her. Uh, he kind of looks like Oscar Isaac. Oh, uh, that's <laughs> really so that's uncanny. <laughs> but with a shirt on. <laughs> it's only a little bit buttoned. Yeah, it's 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 no. Where are his eyes exes? No, you captain. It's is he's dead? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> he's oh, and true, dead. true. Got it. <laughs> Was that your dead face? <laughs> <laughs> dead and loving it. <laughs> so yeah, um, I feel like I, honestly, uh, she kind of she talked to me a little bit too. Uh, she said she was looking for somebody. She, mm. uh, that summer, summer girl. Who was she looking for? Um, I don't. Foxy, I don't wanna, focus. <laughs> sorry, I, just, I don't want to. face. <laughs> I don't. I just. I don't want to be disrespectful or anything, but um. Not disrespecting uh, anyone. You're saving a girl's life. It's a, like it's very weird there's like no scent off of you like that's an absurdly creepy thing to say I, I that's why i hesitated um, you're just not smelling hard enough um excuse I, me then i come she's up, like uh, a cast iron pan you know instead of discussing my uh, alluring scent could we maybe focus? i'm just saying that she was telling me to look for this guy she thought maybe i could help what guy some guy that she saw in a vision of some sort yeah oscar freaking isaac yeah 100%. oh my god foxy are you like um are you busy tonight is the question that i'm gonna ask because i'm a very subtle um it's it's a full moon night, so I'm not sure if I'm yeah, gonna be out dude, and about. Yeah, dude, that's or not. what I was talking about. Oh my god, ugh! And I just roll I just, my eyes and look at me. I just like I get it now. I just get a little worried because um, sometimes people can lose themselves a little bit on nights like tonight. Mm. Have to be kind of careful. Uh, I think I think that cast just goes up and takes a big whiff of them, and then it's oh. like. Oh, okay. I, I get it. You can't just smell people, Cass. Oh my god. I just fucking did. <laughs> oh my god. That's wild. You, you oh just constantly god. drawing, Bob? Yeah. Is yeah. that me? <laughs> Is that me? <laughs> I'm, no, I was asking. Oh, uh, Cass will just be like... So yeah, so maybe I can help you. Um... Would you like to help us? Yeah. I'm happy to. Um, from what I gather, uh, I 
feel like they might not be too far and Cass, maybe you could help. I feel like she brought me, she brought me this. It's like a little, it's just a little piece of material. I guess something, if you want to smell this, I don't know. I can try my uh, sniffers a little off today, so. All right. You want to take it, roll for it, and see if you might get anything from it and see if you can sure. try to use some of that? Hey, Bobby, worse. do you it's think worse. they're going to make a pack together? Packed about what? No, pack. Like, oh, oh, like a, like a pack. I can hear you, Hesty, and that's really presumptuous. Oh, my God. Oh, here oh, yeah, no, I, I have a, oh. Do you have one? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. I like don't have one. It's cool that you do. Oh, well, you wouldn't have a pack. Yeah, like the equivalent. Duh. You have all those followers on TikTok. Does that not fulfill you? What? No. You're on what? TikTok. Yeah, dude. It's oh my god. Like your hot. presence on social media is meant and then to I'm like something that you're missing, but it doesn't. <laughs> what was that robert with the truth i'm sorry what i was distracted hmm? i wasn't talking to you oh my god okay Rude. it sort of speaks into the abyss so like i said i might be a little busy tonight but maybe we can meet up tomorrow hester yes okay. i'd like that all right cool sweet so are you gonna like help us? Yeah, uh, I gave that thing cast. What did you roll? Uh, badly. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. Turns so out. badly. You got allergies Let's or the something? Do you... the out. <laughs> we'll get there, I guess. Cool. <laughs> it is already she, later in the she, afternoon. Finally, <laughs> she leans into Foxy J and is like, "It's this cast iron pan over here." I'm telling you. <laughs> Years and years of seasoning, it? you know as what a, I mean? As a, whoa, okay. It's Child. like smell seasoning. Don't make that face. I mean, unless. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excuse you, Lassie. She's going to turn back. I like to wow. Maybe we're friends now. She's going to turn to you, Foxy. You're going to be your enemy in two seconds because that's what you've been doing all night. <laughs> I'm backing you up. I'm dragging you down. I'm backing you up. I'm dragging you down. <laughs> this is how my friendships work in high school. What's the problem? <laughs> true. It's the true high school experience. Mm, it really is. Oh my gosh. We're friends, but I'm also very threatened by you. Like literally though, you did threaten me earlier. Ooh, in a sexy way though. Yeah. Like friendship. <laughs> like you true. do with your friends in high school. Well, you know, mm. All the time. Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. Maeve's going to approach Foxy and just say, you wouldn't happen to know where we could find this uh, Oscar Isaac type, would you? I don't, but I, I have a pretty good sense. I did a little, little tracking earlier. I think um, the scent's not too far from here. It's definitely in the neighborhood. Just not a hundred percent sure because I feel like there might be like some protections around the place or something. Wait, like magic? Can you point us in the right direction and we will figure it out from there? Yeah. Uh I need to get her number first before you guys leave though. Oh my god, done. I already airdropped that. We're good. <laughs> oh whoop. Yeah. Like oh you have god. like you have like a little card that like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite one of the night. Oh my god. Bobber, I hate you. <laughs> this is because I did a hex on you earlier, isn't it? It is. Okay. All right. Uh, quick question, Foxy. Like, mm -hmm. is the whole team like a pack of werewolves? Oh. No, not everybody. <gasps> like Jensen, he's not. Does he know though? And he's just like, I'm the one. Are you gonna bite him? Why do you think we have so many championships though is the question. Oh my God, yay, performance enhancing curses. We're I like best, it. We're the best basketball team out there. 
Oh, that's so good. Ow. Yay. It's embarrassing. Go Sundial Wolves. Go Sundial Wolves. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> We I hope the basketball team is still, still good since the fire. What fire? <laughs> well, they're all wow. here, so they're all they're all here. <laughs> what fire? There was a fire. Yeah, the mm. school's burning down as we speak. Wait, is the school on fire? I'm very confused. You were there when we all found out. Yeah, I, we mm. all got the same text. They you wouldn't let a me text that the school was on fire. Yeah, they wouldn't <laughs> let me go watch, so I drew a picture. <laughs> Wait, did you, you not drew that before? <laughs> Wait, did I did draw it before. <laughs> no, I didn't get a text about that. I may did... have. I I haven't looked at my phone in weeks. Oh, uh, Wait, hold uh, on. Can I see your phone? Hey, babe. Can I see your phone? Me? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I want to like check the messages. Does he have the same message? Like, does he have the the whatever schools on fire text that we all no. got? No. Mm, he didn't get the text lure. we got. Yeah, well, we're VIP at the school, so it makes sense they would only text us. No, 100%. Means we're being targeted for something. Well, it didn't work very well. Publish clearing house. <laughs> what? Could you just point us in the direction of the girl and we'll be on our way? Yeah, to just continue hang bickering right. in peace. Good luck with that and I'll take my phone back. Thanks. I have a, a no look unfollowed like three girls that I am threatened <gasps> by. No on Instagram. Un, no look unfollowed on his phone. There you go. That that really escalated Thank quickly. You. Wow. You found yeah. out his you found his email and then you signed up to OnlyFans to see if he also already had an OnlyFans <laughs> under his his email. Oh my God. You've given so I'm many sex work. I just don't like other girls in our high school. <laughs> <laughs> that seems very complicated. I think maybe you have it some, things. I think maybe you totally have some things to work through. <laughs> yeah, obviously I'm 17 and very confused. <laughs> True. Oh my goodness. Oh, well, nice to officially meet you, Foxy J. Have fun using your otherworldly abilities to perform cute tricks for the mortals. Ew, you can't you just call people mortals. mortals. Really condescending. Is, it was. was that... Yeah. Okay. It's but why? a part of her charm. Thank you. Uh, Don't you right. do tricks all the time? Just yeah. this one. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the weird eye thing that you do all the yeah, time? My eyes just go like full <laughs> werewolf, like blazing green slit kind of thing. You look like the end of Thriller, and I don't think it's as cool as you think it is. Mm -mm. I think it's really uh, cool. Maeve's it's not like, hell yeah. It's really oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> if Maeve's into it. But She's you're not mortals, so. I'm also into it. I'm just trying to act cool. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, can, I can do that too. Thank you so, much. so, okay. Yeah, do it right now. All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that maybe one like popped out <laughs> and the well, other can, one, like someone can't who can't blink. What, you, what, what, you're, what you're watching, God. <laughs> no, it's okay. Keep uh, bouncing that ball around, puppy. Uh, puppy. I just don't understand what, anyway. Uh, no, don't worry about it. She's just like that. Okay. She's showing off for her girlfriend. It's fine. Oh, y'all right? together. Do I have um, a girlfriend? Cool. That's, <laughs> That's our cue to leave. Thank you. So All right. Yeah, sure. Hang a right. Assistance. Good luck. All right. So he gives you some direct, a little bit of direction better than hang a right. But it's, you know, you go out, it's hang a right. It's down the, down the road. Um, there's a specific house. It's like that house <laughs> on, on the street. Yes. It was like, it should have been probably more obvious to you yeah. as it is in every like teen film. <laughs> there's always like, Oh, you know, like the creepy right. music rises up and it looks like there's smoke, but it's not even like smoky. You know what I mean? Though, like around it, you know, um, Probably because kids were tell smoking. There's a bearskin rug in there, <laughs> right? Like it's <laughs> you can like feel it. Yeah, you could you could smell the mahogany like on the, on the walls and like you know the old tapestry and like all these very old timey things that have been there for a very long time when people were maybe not as kind and sensitive to animals mm -hmm. in the in the past. Um, very old, old, old vampire um, who lives. Oh, maybe. 
who lives there maybe who lives there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um all right so you guys gonna go try to get into this house Arr. cool Arr. so what's our plan like are we just gonna go in and like fight a vampire or whatever for erotica like what such as what we're doing i don't well, see why you... not there's four of us and one of him yeah, I mean, but why are you motivated to fight a vampire? Yeah, this girl was last seen at my house. Right, self-preservation, think- got it. And Wait. we're helping you because... Yeah, what you- are you helping, Cass? Well, Maeve said she'd go to the dance with me tonight. If I helped. Like, that's the only reason? Yeah, I don't know... Ra- Raleigh Radica Radica so I don't have any special affinity for her okay I guess if, and I like anyone, fucking shit up that's where if anyone should be answering this question it's you Hester I mean what what, TikTok? what do you mean Maeve what horse do you have in this race she we used to be friends several horses oh my god i was a horse girl when i was younger not anymore no you didn't need to say that out loud yeah that's my cast iron or whatever i'm confused by that reference she's a lot of layers of smells because she's been alive for hundreds of years it's super obvious you can't just say that out loud she'll kill you what about (laughs) the doodle person doodle person outer uh I just am here and like he, he doesn't have a soul oh yeah that's why <laughs> oh okay we're gonna do an arson that's fair I mean if we have time yeah I mean you didn't get to did you start that fire at the school wait the there fire wasn't sick. a fire <laughs> so you really got jilted there since you had plans to do that at five so we'll do the house instead makes mm-hmm. sense oh um, I have a really awkward question and I'm super sorry uh, to have to ask it, Maeve, but like in the event that we are dealing with a very attractive older daddy vampire, like what things would we use uh, that might be more effective at uh, handling him? Like handling him in what way? Like how do I kill a vampire? Oh my God. Ugh. You said daddy. He's hot. Whatever. <laughs> Terry just spit. <laughs> the fact that he's hot will not change the way you kill him. No, I know. I was that was just for uh, like flavor. Every vampire is different, so I oh. don't know the specifics of this man, but usually uh, the easy three with us: stake to the heart, slice off the head, burn alive. Oh, oh my God! Is that why you didn't In that have a cigarette order? earlier? They're in that order <laughs> if robert wants to do all of them <laughs> robert it only takes one okay robert's nasty you like gotta that, double tap and then yes. Cass holds up her fist to, for robert to fist bump <laughs> he looks at it <laughs> sick <Deep laughs> she weary. punches him in the face <laughs> his nose don't just bleed and it doesn't make much of a reaction <laughs> Uh, oh my god <laughs> why did you punch him and fist bump me love me hanging you don't leave Cass oh, hanging okay got a bloody oh nose. my god Eric <laughs> oh buddy um, do you want me to get that uh, for you Maeve are you okay Maeve you can see her eyes have glazed over and she's walking slowly towards Robert oh Oh, ooh, oh ooh. yes. Yeah, you dummy. Ugh. I would like to try to feed on Robert. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. All right. Ooh, okay. Let's do for Eric you. Commits. Eric punches himself in the face. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> he really, really does. You've had a lot of practice being fake punched in the face, actually. <laughs> it's true. All right. So that's using your feeding. Okay. 
Yes. Go for it. So, You're I was going to say, so mm-hmm. that's one of my moves. Right. So you feed on hot blood direct from the source. If this is the first time you've they've ever fed upon you, both mark experience. When you feed, choose two. All right. Mm. Okay. So I just marked my experience. Uh, I will say of the two, I don't have any harm currently active. So I'll say I take one forward and they definitely don't die. Okay, great. How do you feel though? How do you feel, Robert? Um, well, describe what happens. Yeah, please. I think Maeve approaches really slowly and she's so like hypnotically zoned into the blood that I don't think she's aware of what it looks like. And I think she puts her hand on Robert's shoulders and like licks up the trail of blood that's currently on his face and then gets carried away and starts moving to his neck. And she's kind of like doing little bites as she goes. And then she's going to kind of like hover and she's going to fully what what's the word that's the opposite of retract unsheath i guess Ooh, i like unsheath yeah. i like I unsheath know. too but <laughs> yeah. her fangs and she's gonna kind of like drag them against his neck a little bit to like kind of see if she can bite him i don't think she really knows what he is so she's trying to like suss out if that's an option i guess does it, does it seem like well, that's, that's yeah when when you when you get to like everything about him physically seems human like okay. it seems like any person that you've ever fed on so in that instance i'm going to say getting that little taste of blood like simultaneously it it gives her a little a little taste so it's like revving her up but it also kind of focuses in her senses so whereas before i think she was a little transfixed from just free flowing blood now she has a little bit more uh, wits about her to to pause and kind of wait to see if if he responds to that because she doesn't in, in in less unless the circumstances are different you know she usually doesn't uh, drink from someone without getting their permission. He's just kind of like cocked his head and he's like. Huh. He's like, he's putting up no resistance, though. He doesn't know what to do in this situation. He didn't, like, he didn't recoil. He's, like, perfectly still from this. I think she kind of, like, we see the camera kind of, like, zoom in on her digging her nails into his shoulders as she's kind of just, like, gnashing her teeth a little bit. And then she steps back and you can kind of see her do that, like walk away, calm down, like, whew, I give myself cold shower kind of move. And she's just, what the fuck was that? All of us, all of us. So, (laughs) cool, cool, cool. So that concludes Monster Hearts tonight, you guys. Uh, I have to go. I have to go. What I came here for. Okay. Uh, thanks, kids. Um, okay. So um, y'all I, good? I think uh, for me at least, this triggers my turn someone on. Yep. <laughs> so ah. Nags, if you want to roll for hot. <laughs> okay, wait, what do I do? Checks out. out. You roll for hot. <laughs> okay. Uh, I rolled a but, seven. Okay. You can just so. roll it one more time. <laughs> you might as well okay that's a uh, nine for you okay ten. oh my god so you can either give uh they can either give you a string or choose one of the reactions uh we haven't really been doing reactions tonight since we're doing a one shot and that's something that's really great i think for bigger longer yeah. campaign um yeah i think uh I think but you cast- can trigger a reaction right now too. Right, I can yeah. come in with something. I'm happy to. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I just get embarrassed. Yeah. I think that's because it's, it's one of the reactions is what's listed under there, right? Yeah. 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 So I think I just get really embarrassed, which is not, I don't think normal for Cass. Like, I think it's like she has no shame whatsoever, but I think she like freezes up and like starts blushing like really hard <laughs> and then just sort of like, 
like train wreck, can't look away kind of thing. <laughs> I imagine she's like slack jawed, like, <laughs> oh, all right, kids. Yeah, I'm going to um, do the awkward thing of uh, what the tall people problem of accidentally walk into a, like a mailbox, just like, oh my God, awkward cow. <laughs> hey guys, can we go? I don't know what just happened. Yeah, let's go. Let's um, let's keep moving. Sure. Are you okay, Robert? <laughs> um, and he thinks for a moment. Uh, and this triggers. I I think this probably triggers his uh his his skin move. Uh, strange impression. Uh, when a main character either harms you or he heals you, uh, you can respond by studying them with wide eyes. If you do, you temporarily gain one of their skin moves, uh, oh, and add it to their. Oh my uh, God! Your you're character. ditto. Yeah, so I noticed that you, one of yours is marked for the hunts so that you like have a, like a connection with someone you feed. So you feel that connection with Robert, but it feels different. Like his connection with you is like he fed on you in a, in a way. So it's like if you feel this weird, like it doesn't feel like the normal connection that you would feel with a person that you fed on. Okay. I love it. Okay. I can't believe that Bria has literal popcorn for this scene. <laughs> This is the this is the clutchest bag of popcorn I've ever popped. Uh -huh. Holy shit! Yes, she was so <sighs> ready for tonight. Mm -hmm. I knew it. She I knew ready. this was coming. <laughs> Maeve kind of like clocks that, and she had been walking away, and she snaps back super quickly and looks at Robert and narrows her eyes and just goes, "What are you?" I don't know. Empty. One lucky fucker, that's what I'd say. Wait, do you, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, don't even talk to me, miss, kiss the mailbox. I didn't kiss it, I hit it with my I'm pillow. a little dizzy. Mm -hmm. huh? huh? I'm a little dizzy. Has anyone oh. got a Red Bull? What? <laughs> Terry no. does. Do you need water? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I drink water? <laughs> <laughs> what are you? <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so you guys so, going to try to get into this house? Yeah. I liked what happened outside, though, so I was never going to stop that. <laughs> Holy goodness. Uh, yeah, so you guys are going to try to get in. Um, are you going to try to go through the front? Are you going to try to be stealth about it? What you guys want? What's your action plan to get in here? I'm thinking if this is like sort of an older mansion. Maybe there's some like... Um, lattice on the side of the house or mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. some vines. vines yeah yep. so i might try and do a scramble wamble up there wait do we all have to do that because i am not dressed for activities uh i mean i could get in and open the back door thank you sure <laughs> good luck uh, I mean, we can just kick the door open. Yeah, or, we can. Or that. Yeah. Up to y'all. I think I'm going to go up here and then you do whatever you want to do. I uh, will wait outside. You seem like you have this handled. You not go in the house? I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> No, Hester, I cannot go in the house. Okay. I haven't been invited. Oh Can we trying? invite you? Wait, is that why you didn't come to my party last year? No. I didn't send like... out invites because you don't send out invites. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't have made a difference. <laughs> You're rude. <laughs> That's and, there's the, and there's the switch. <laughs> <laughs> constantly yeah <laughs> so are we trying to be subtle about this i mean what if it gets radica hurt okay i got an idea and he's just gonna walk up to the door and he's gonna knock on the door oh okay uh i think Cass is still gonna scramble up the lattice at least sit on the like overhang and see what happens do I need to roll anything for that, Terry? Um, to look, I don't think so. Okay. 
I'm going to say no for right now. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So you've knocked on the door and after a few minutes waiting, someone's going to answer the door. Door gets pulled open and it's Colin Edwards. Hi. Hi, sorry. I don't, I I know this <gasps> is like super out of nowhere and awkward. Um, I am one of the students at uh, uh, Sundial High, and uh, yeah, we are I doing think you were in my homeroom today. Yeah. Uh, are are you? So you know about the magazine drive, right? Like I I I I know it's fine if you're not buying anything, but I really have to practice my pitch. Uh, uh, you, you know, because I'm trying to. You seem way more do... quiet in the class. It's kind of. I'm sorry. It's weird. A little. I'm sorry. It's just. It's, you know, I, I just don't really like that class that much. Uh, are, are, are your parents home or something? Like, because I really, I would love to practice like with like an adult, like not, you're fine. Like if we can practice, if it's just you here, like that's fine. But I'm like, I'm like, because I want to sell these magazines because like, like if I do well, well, my dad's going to buy me a dirt bike. Okay, I'm okay, really cut, cut, cut the magazine thing. Um, mm -hmm. My qu real question for you is, you had the, there was that, your friends, I think with, there's that one girl in the class. She was so pretty. Oh, uh, which which one? The one with the like, basically like white blonde hair. You know? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Mave. Uh, I mean I I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if we're friends, but we're we're we're. I I would say we, like we have a connection, uh, like right. a friendship. You cool, know, cool. like I guess yeah. I guess come in or whatever, and like we can chat. Um, oh great! I'd like to know a little bit more, just I guess about what's happening here at this school. It's weird. I just kind of got here and. Just trying to make new friends you know oh yeah yeah that sounds fun i mean i'm trying to do this magazine thing but that's boring as shit uh so i guess yeah all right you're really I can, like text though. mave if you want invite yeah, her that'd over be cool. you should you should do that like okay come on in we could like just shoot her an invite yeah the teller come over that'd be nice yeah 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 of course uh, and uh, I'm going to, uh, because I've established I don't have my phone, I'm going to gaze into the abyss because part of uh, March for the Hunt is that I can reach out through the abyss and talk to the person I have a connection with. <laughs> Thank you so That's much. Handy. That's so glad handy. you stole that. So good. Okay, so that's a 10. Okay. Oh. Shoot. All right, I guess Darkness it is my best stat. <laughs> What a surprise. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just I just psychically invite her in. All right. And all of a sudden, what were you like around the corner or something? Uh, yeah, hi. I live super close by. I didn't realize you were my new neighbor. I'm surprised you guys haven't run into each other before. Oh yeah, like I, like I said, I'm kind of kind of newer here, but uh, I'm glad you decided to come by cool welcome to the neighborhood thank Thanks. you so much for inviting me over oh yeah like yeah happy to happy to see you yeah come in like already like yeah thank you and Maeve's gonna walk into the house all right what are the rest of you kids gonna do uh I want to look up at uh Cass I didn't go in with, with Maeve. I want to like try to sneak around to the back of the house. Or, like go through the side gate. Good call. When, when you look up at Cass, she just goes. <laughs> <laughs> and then like scrambles up to a higher part of the roof and towards the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. Cool. All right. So yeah, so um, Colin like, you know, decides to take you into his living room area, a little seating room. Uh, can I can I get you all anything or just want to chat? Uh, uh, Robert? Oh, yeah. I mean, if you've got like a soda or something, like whatever, I don't want to put you out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get you something. Uh, some water. Thank you. All right. <laughs> You sure you don't want anything else? That's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm going to leave you two alone for a moment. What do you talk about while uh, 
Colin goes to get your drinks. Maeve immediately leans in. What do we do? I I don't know. I didn't think this far ahead. I imagine <laughs> I will leave you two alone to, and I'll go searching, if that makes sense. I don't know. He seems interested in you. That's the exact reason to not leave me alone with him. Okay, you keep then, him busy. Okay. And- He'll be more forgiving go, if I'm gone for a while. Cause... Yeah, go powder your nose or whatever excuse, and I'll distract. Okay. Uh, Colin, where's the restroom? Why is well, she British all of a sudden? <laughs> because good society sneaks in whenever yeah. you all, at all times, at all times. My dearest Colin, really, where's the powder really, room? Really, She's a vampire <laughs> older than America. She's not from here. Her Listen. accent comes out when she gets nervous. <laughs> did my camera fee- freeze in the most sexy pose ever? <laughs> yeah, but you look it real did. cute. Hey, look at, look at my real real cute. Look at my strong arms. Ah, <laughs> so strong. <laughs> so yoked. <laughs> so strong. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, I'm dying for this. Okay. Anywho. <laughs> wow. All I right. Can't. There we go. <laughs> oh, what no. if Anna wasn't frozen and she was just doing like a pause and ventriloquy? <laughs> Dude, that'd be <laughs> talent. Just this. I wish I was talented. <laughs> still still yeah, completely in the game. Too. I'm so frozen. Weird. I'm so, so strong. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my camera froze again. This is so weird. <laughs> oh, oh, now we have to. God. All of our little squares are in the wrong place. Oh, I'm Dom, so sorry. So I Dom had no <laughs> control over that. That's what but we hey, pay him for. I don't even go here anymore. There the sparkles are gone. I think the sparkles are gone. I never no, saw they're the sparkles. On, they're just I never saw the sparkles. I don't see the sparkles either. Do, yeah. Is that just for you? It might be on your end. I huh. don't even see sparkles. Like, yeah. Wow. I'm progressing. Because of her. the lights that are next to you, are they giving weird light? No, I turned them off like, to uh, try to, to get it on your screen. Okay. Just Sorry. trying to troubleshoot with you, you know? Thank you. Because um, my roommates brought me wine now too. Yay. Yay, okay. roommates. All right. We have a wine advent calendar. It's great. Okay. So. It's, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, yes, you try to go to the restroom, but um, Colin corners you in the hallway. Uh, Maeve. Hello, Colin. Hi, Maeve. I've heard a lot about you. So mm-hmm. have many people. Mm-hmm. Where is your restroom again? You don't need the restroom, Maeve, any more than I do. What do you really want? And why did you come here? To keep my friend Robert company and to do him a favor. You and I know that's a load of horse shit. What do you really want? To save my own neck, same as always. Mm-hmm. Why don't Who you? Are you? Colin Edwards. I said I was new here. I am relatively new. Uh, The master here is quite kind. There's a growing number of us at this house, actually. Hmm. And what do you want? I'm assuming you're here regarding the new recruit. Radhika. She's in transition right now. How far along is she? Well, with this beautiful full moon tonight, shouldn't expedite things. She's turning. How long until she's one of us? Well, as long as she stays where she needs to stay. By morning. You recognized me as one of your own and didn't think it prudent to point that out to me earlier. Why would I need to do that? I thought you would have been more conscious. You seem to just shut me down for nothing. I've spent centuries fending off the advances of teenage boys. I don't think it should surprise you that it distracts me a little. It's okay. Sometimes when we're younger and faster than you, you may not notice. I see. 
Well, how charitable of you to fill me in now. That's fine. We just wanted to make sure you wouldn't get in the way. Of course, I had to extend an invitation to get you in. <laughs> I take it. Your reveal of this information means I'm invited to partake. You are a good host, after all, aren't you, Colin? Oh, we have some treats, some snacks around. I should like to partake in the turning. In the turning, specifically? Uh, I don't think so. I think that's something the master would like to keep to himself. And how did you end up in his inner circle, then? It's mighty presumptuous in someone else's house. You do know that. I'm well aware. All right. Do you want to try to do any of your special power moves on Sir Colin? Sir Colin Edwards. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to try... She's going to try to turn him on and she's going to try as she's having this conversation with him to distract him and try and get him to kind of like let his guard down. Uh, And so as she's saying this, she kind of puts one of her hands up on the wall behind him to kind of hold them in place while they're having this conversation. And she's just moving ever so slightly forward. What exactly are you trying to do, Maeve? I've been living alone for centuries now. I knew that that lonely. I can smell dog on you. I should like to be part of a nest. Part of a family again. Not when you're lying with dogs. Making of use of them is not the same as lying with them, Colin. Cut to Cass, dog out back. Where are you trying to get wow, in? Wow, very offensive to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually, I'm actually thinking like, ooh, maybe I'm trying to think of what the timing is, but maybe Hester and I are already in the house. I'd like I I crawled I crawled uh, scampered in like an upstairs window got down the staircase to the back door and then we were on our way uh back into like the meat of the house when that conversation started so maybe we're like lurking around the corner or like at the top of the stairs or something totally so I don't know what do you think of Bria I like that. I like that a lot. Um, I think the only thing she would have done while she was out in the back waiting to be let in is uh, I would try for one more uh, gaze into into the abyss to locate exactly where uh, hot Oscar Isaac is in this house. Like, I want to know which room it is. But instead of using lipstick, I think she's just using her nails and she just scratches into the glass. I'm getting very tired of being nice. And this is... (laughs) You haven't been nice this whole game. Don't worry, sweet man. I've been super <laughs> duper nice. Oh my God. And the 13 I just rolled says I'm done with it now. What room is hot Oscar Isaac in? He's in the um the top one, the penthouse. Attic. Yeah. Attic. Attic so of I the think- house. I think when we like kind of hear a little bit of the conversation, like I like try to like pull Cass away and go, we we need to go up. She's fine. They'll be fine. Let's go. I don't, I don't know. Guys, He's like really sorry. close to her. What? We're eight subs away from the next NPC uh, pun lock. And <laughs> we and are going to be high school musical. So. It's not. I wish. It's actually. I want it. It's better than high school musical for sure. And we're 158 away from Neg's GMing a game oh my god i want this so badly so just find your friends get your people please find find your find your yes like please anyway okay just letting the people know okay back to you what do you do back to you too pardon me (laughs) that new kid are you worried about the new kid 
Uh, am I worried about him being a total creep and living in a mansion with an old man who's not his dad? Yeah. She's like a super old vampire. She's like 30. She'll be fine. She's like 30. That y'all are just attacking me specifically tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't appreciate it. Um <clears throat> I'm going upstairs. I don't give a shit what you do. And she's going to start marching up. Well, when you say it like that, <laughs> she'll follow after. <laughs> I like almost fell on my chair. Sorry. <laughs> Will you tell me you hate me? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, do you like that? Y- yeah. Yeah, I want to roll the, I want to roll the turn someone on. Yes, please. <laughs> Am I get it hot? I'm, I'm okay. Oh, I thought I you were going to be the hottest bitch. Oh, shit. What does I that do to me? Do I explode? <laughs> uh, yeah, she's going to lean in and be like, I need you to get your shit together. Let's fucking go. I hate you. <laughs> she giggles a little bit because she's an idiot. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> it was super effective. Wait, what happens when you roll an 11? Uh, I get a string on you and then you can choose a reaction. Ooh, uh, a reaction. I put a string on you. No. Because you're mine. Um, is one of the things just to do whatever you say? Because that's what I do. <laughs> is that Probably something I think you want is like close enough. Like, yeah. I give myself to you. That, I mean, but just in the way of following yeah. you and doing what you want. <laughs> Sweet. Dope. Great. Right. I think I just, she just walks up the stairs and is like, I don't know, just for flavor, uh, is scratching the like wallpaper with her nails and it's like curling and like rotting Ooh, under her. And grip. I think, I think, uh, I think Cass is behind you and like flips out her werewolf nails and is like trying to trace your tracks. And it's just like there's deepening and like the paper is like curling even more. Hell yeah. I don't even know that Hester sees it, but I it's a, I like the, the Abria feels it and isn't into Abria it. Abria feels it. Ooh. Sweet. Nice. Uh, do we get to go or do we want to like cut back? Because I will just yeah. go in. All right. Yeah, we're gonna cut back real quick and then we'll we'll cut, cut back in. Uh cut back down. Um Actually, we need to cut to where where the heck ever us Robert is, is, is found himself. That's what I want to know. Robert. Uh, well, Robert was sitting in the couch, uh, uh, waiting for that soda. Uh, he drew <laughs> this picture, uh, and oh. then now he's now he's uh, bored. That. So now he's just finding things uh, that he's going to light on fire, probably. Yes. Does he see oh, where that this? nest is? Was that it? Was that a vampire nest that you drew? Mm-hmm. there's a bunch yeah. of bats yeah and there's a bunch of bones and there's blood okay so do you have an idea of where the that nest is in the house i assume it's downstairs okay <laughs> all right cool i'm gonna gaze into the abyss to see if i can get a sense of where it might be okay i'm gonna, I'm gonna do a roll about it all right do you want to go to the nest or do you want to go um help find radica oh uh i just i want to know if it is a thing i i don't think he's gonna actively look for it uh, i rolled a 10 um he's a, he's gonna just start like getting like newspapers and stuff like that is there a, a fireplace absolutely it's in that living room right in front of you it's a huge beautiful ornate one it's got like a beautiful like kind of like italian not mirror it's got a beautiful like like the the frame around it um and it's um got like a mosaic like design in it and stuff like that as well it's really pretty cool he's gonna start throwing like logs and stuff setting it up uh starting that fire uh and then like setting up other things that he's gonna throw in the fire okay but yeah i rolled a 10 on my gaze into as i as i'm like starting the fire and like looking into it i Mm -hmm. gaze into the darkness and i roll a 10 all right, perfect. So you're trying to see what was it you wanted to see again? I want to see like if my prediction of oh bats- yeah, hundred percent accurate, hundred percent accurate. That's, <laughs> that's that's what's happening in the basement of the house. Um, the full nest is there. 
There's um, some coffins if they want to like have like a little coffin spot, you know, and hang out. Um, but then I didn't do coffins, so let me get it. That's okay. There's bones <laughs> and things like yeah. <laughs> Um, right. but definitely, there's definitely bones and it's, 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 it's a de facto graveyard, um, down there. It's like leftovers, you know, mm -hmm. um, just there to rot. Cool. He's gonna, he's, he's gonna start setting up things to burn this house down. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. So while you're getting this ready to this, the cinders ready to go, um, we'll cut back to, um, Maeve, my dear and Colin. Yes. So Maeve. What is the, the, the little corridor that they're in on her way to the bathroom? What does that look like? What are their surroundings? Um, it's a really nice kind of corridor with like, you know, little side tables and like vases and like antiques. There's, you know, cool old fashioned like cuckoo clock on the wall. And um, there's also um, like some ornate like candle like abra kind of like things on the wall too kind of reminiscent of like the haunted house um i imagine it like disney a little bit but like real <laughs> i think after the last words that they just exchanged mave is they were kind of like up against the hallway wall cuz she'd been mm -hmm. stopped on her way to the restroom mm -hmm. and i kind of picture her really quickly like with with reflexes so fast they could only be inhuman grabs the the part of the clock you know like the pendulum bit that swings at the bottom mm -hmm. she grabs it rips it out and stabs or at least attempts to stab colin directly all right. into the heart all right Damn, so you're gonna lash out girl. physically, lash out. I must say, lash out physically. this is the time yeah lash out bra, physically bra. <laughs> ra, 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 ra. Love for me in chat, okay? All right. right. We love that for you. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> What'd you get? Box cars? <laughs> Box cars, okay, what? I'm really excited. I rolled two fives, so a 10. Ooh. Yay! Success. Wait, All do right, you add so... anything to it, though? Uh, no, like, the, I, I rolled a 10. I'm good. I'm done. Oh, okay. That is a 10. Girl. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> tell me what, you, tell me how the murder goes. How, what you do, what you do. <laughs> uh, she does it so quickly. And I think mm -hmm. coming off of the interaction socially where she'd been trying to distract him, I think he had his guard down just for a second, like mm -hmm. just for a hair. So she sees it in his eyes when she grabs it. And like right before it impales his heart, she can see that look where he realizes that she's moving to attack him, but it's just not soon enough. And she gets it in so precisely because being a vampire herself, she knows exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly where. And she just gets to see that flicker of like, however long his vampire life was, like she can almost like see it passing in his eyes. Almost two weeks. Just, Gone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> weeks for him. Oop. Oh, all right. Oh my gosh, you guys are amazing. Thank you guys on the chat too. Wow. Thank you. They, they all really want what next to do this game. All right. Um, <laughs> every time the fear. That was great. All right. So, you 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 smooth you smooth Spocka boy is is gone. Um, Colin Edwards. <laughs> Edward yeah. Collins um it's got the anyway. skin of a dire <laughs> i know like, mm -hmm. so sparkly so shiny um all right so do you want to go anywhere else after that uh mave mave is going to quickly run back to the room with robert in it okay great so we're gonna cut now to hester and cass uh yeah can we just get into the room with the bad guy um we can you can you can give a try yeah sure Let's yeah. uh I think she's just been making a beeline to where yeah. she knows that he's supposed to be. Go for it and come on in. Come try to get get on in. Sweet. Uh do I have to roll or am I just opening a door? I think you can try to open the door and then see what see what's there. All right. Uh yeah, she's gonna like go to the door. Like she goes and reaches for it mm -hmm. and then hesitates and then looks back at Cass. Do you wanna wanna know? What's your deal? What? Oh, is Kick there no the door bad in. guy? Or are we just gonna Kick oh. the fucking door in? Okay. 
<laughs> Did you even try the handle? <laughs> well, like touching stuff. Okay. It, well, it, well, it, it probably would have worked. The door in. It probably would have worked. Too bad. We're kicking I'll that door in. I'll trust it. I've All seen right. home alone. Ten, <laughs> a plus my volatile is two. So that's a 12. Yeah, from, you're you're in. <laughs> lash out physically. <laughs> yeah, he knocked, you knocked that door down good. It's busted. Um, It's not closing again. All right. So the door is open, it reveals this room, um, and Radhika is there. She's on the floor, like kind of sweaty and just looks uncomfortable because she's been in the middle of, of turning for a little while. And imagine a cloak because, you know, it's a yeah. vampire. So I have to have a cloak moment. I should have brought, I'm doing, I didn't bring my cloak tonight. That's okay. You guys can <laughs> think about it. <laughs> I usually have one right next to me too. It's comedy. All right. I can imagine it. It's in the closet, like right here across the hallway here. It's ridiculous. I, red or black. You let me know. All you right. You weren't it like last stream. We know of your cloak. <laughs> she got on. I'm not going to go get it. I'm fine. <laughs> You're so torn though. You want to. Of course I, I want it. it for the effect. And yes, you know, I wear my cloak like every time. Okay. So. <laughs> Door open, uh, cloak door opens. He's a cloaked figure, and it is one of the most handsome, but not right now. His face is all kind of contorted. He's like full turned right now. Like he's like been feeding, so he's got like. You know, <laughs> Eric, Eric, uh, gotta update that. What was drawing. that? What's the picture now? It was Oscar Isaac. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, no. that's better. Oh. <laughs> a little, yep, yep, little, little, little skeleton or something. Okay, we're in the haunted mansion, the holiday style. That, I get it. Is that Cass after she smokes a bunch of cigarettes? <laughs> according to Hester. <laughs> Makes your skin dry, probably. <laughs> that kids, that's my only smoking concern. Smoking on the stream, it's bad for you. All right. <laughs> So, um, unless it's weed. Okay, so I, I didn't do that to say they did it. So, <laughs> I was like, vape pens up. Okay, so, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, he's got like, you know, blood coming off his little fangs and, and it's all fresh and he, you know, he's all tart. He says, what are you doing here? You're going to let her go and the transformation and maybe we'll let you live. <laughs> Seriously, you, you're a child, a mere child. And what is this, a dog you bring with you? What the fuck? You can't just call people that. And I want to, I want to cast a hex on him. Yeah, only Hester can call me that. <laughs> you can't just call people that unless you're me and the worst. <laughs> All right, what's the hex? Uh, we're going to go with Wither. Okay. Nice. Ooh. I rolled a nine. So oh, I'm going to trigger my darkest self. Let's go. Yeah. Tight. Yeah. All right. And tight, tight, tight. Like locks eyes with him and as she speaks it's that same thing of like every reflective surface in the room also echoes with her voice as she casts wither on him uh but all of the mirrors in the room start foxing where they get those little like spots of gray and start to decay and then she just says rot so i get to pick two things or no just one thing in wither um i want him to just start to like desiccate like a raisin person. Oh my God. So I just shrivel, shrivel like I was smoking. Shrivel, <laughs> shrivel, shrivel. My skin is getting so dry. Yeah. It doesn't like kill him, but it's just the beginning just so of bad thirsty. stuff. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so thirsty. Ah, you look, ah, what is happening to me? Ah. Don't fuck with witch talk. You Cass, child, like you child. I know, I'm really embarrassed you just said that. What? I'm Am sorry. I <laughs> sorry, I go ahead. the cool thing of like magic and stuff and I'm like evil now. Let you the child old evil are a witch. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> do no something, witch. Cass. Well, I want you to do anything to me. So I'm going um, to do, 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 do. turn into a, I'm a, a little... Little bat, all of a oh, sudden. Oh, perfect, <laughs> perfect. 
because uh is it it's the fucking moon out yet i swear to god <laughs> almost can we get a moon? <laughs> well shit on my butt um <laughs> sorry what triggers your darkest self if you all those check marks we were talking about clint you guys were trying to avoid them um you're almost there you need like one more. How many? I think I've been forgetting to mark them. So you how many times? Have it. Oh my god! How many yeah. times have I failed oh, yeah. at smelling? You yeah. <laughs> so I like, feel like I'm gonna give. I'm just marking it. I'm marking it. Yeah, you definitely you. Okay. So you have, yeah, you have your darkest self. Um, you can transform into a terrifying wolf. Whatever you need to do. Yes, I will do that. Uh, and with Hester yelling at me, which fuels me with um, glee. <laughs> <laughs> sexual glee <laughs> name of the show yes <laughs> it is sexual glee uh, with like it's high school, school. Yeah. Yeah. that's true all in this together i don't know uh, the song term glee, glee. <laughs> sexual glee sexual glee i think it's sexual i think glee. Glee. hester looks up at the the bat now flapping in the air and goes oh i don't fucking think so you're not going anywhere uh and then she hunches her head down and her her shoulders like jerk up and like bulk and then it's like the rest of her body just starts bulging in like very strange and uh and uncomfortable ways and her clothes start like ripping at the seams and then when she lifts her head back up she has this like long dripping maw of a of a wolf beast uh, and she leaps she uses her like super strong uh legs her stacked legs uh to leap into the air uh, just like the basketball team and uh, take like a basketball big... like turn that... someone on roll the turn someone on <laughs> like, oh okay <laughs> it was the basketball thing love and basketball baby was... love and basketball Stacks one of the like, best movies I of failed all time. it's not that cute it's so good <laughs> <laughs> I failed I got a three <laughs> not that oh, cute. oh no you were like ah uh, you get oh, an no. upgrade yet god <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? When you fill up your potential, you should, or uh, your XP, you should get an upgrade. Oh, Thingy. I didn't know that. It wouldn't help. And I wouldn't put it towards being cute. <laughs> being sexy. Not, that's not where her, yeah, that's not where her stats fall. That's not where I go. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then leaps into the airs and uh, goes for a, a super mega chomp. Okay, so you're going to use that lash out. I'm going to do it. Okay. Ooh, I got an eight plus my volatile, which is 10. Let's fucking go. Oh, that's a success. You that's right. Do it. And you're going to bite. And they choke up momentarily before they can react. So chomp on that bitch. Uh, and because I'm a tiny shriveled bat at this point, that's going to do some, some, some harm. And I think. Dude, I'll swallow that fucker. Watch me. Eat the bat. Go for it. Eat the bat. Ooh, I want to Ozzy Osbourne it. I want to bite its head off. Okay. Yes! <laughs> okay. I want to chomp it, land, rip it, throw the body on the ground. Aw, thank yeah. you, Aaron. Oh. <laughs> and then I want to start seeing Crazy Train. <laughs> with blood, with blood spilling. Also, it's not in a, in a discernible language. <laughs> it's just a husky. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Is this Blades? Are you singing from Blades? Oh! <laughs> oh! Okay. Oh my gosh. Just babe. All right. So, so evil, evil Batman. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, is 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 no more. Um, Love but we it. still have our friend on on the floor, uh, Radhika. Yeah, I'll eat her too. You know, um, I don't think you need to eat her. She's in the middle of turning and, and you needed to stop If it. anyone attempts to stand in your way, they must be brought down and made to bleed. So she's not the enemy. She was your classmate. What do you want to do? I'm not in control right now. Hell bro. yeah. Are we going to fight? Are we down for PVP? I'm not going to fight you unless you, you get in my me. way of eating floor girl. Yeah, I'm going to go stop you from eating floor girl. Uh, okay, well, I, I think, uh, okay. <laughs> all right what you want to do hester uh i see i see her walking towards uh right. towards floor girl and i'm like yeah okay wait hold um no and i just want to go and like try to grab 
uh, cast by the shoulder and like swing her around. I imagine like you, I'm going in for the swing and then you go to like put the weight on my shoulder so I miss maybe. Uh, hey, sweetie, what are you doing? <laughs> no, well, you gotta don't roll, attack. honey bun. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, is this is this lashing out Mm-mm-mm. physically? Mm-mm. Is that what we think for this you, is? you, lashing out physically, we want to avoid usually it would be maybe shut someone down. You would want to lashing avoid out, it? Lashing out physically, you actually are going to physically harm whoever it is. So you oh, only yeah. want to I think use we're that. in PVP. She's allowed okay. to hit me. Oh, you're and an armor? I'm, I'm okay. fine with it. Uh, this okay. is, yeah, I, I have a feeling I'm going to roll very badly, but okay. like. As you do double box Oh my God. Again. I know. It's the opposite. Onesies? I rolled onesies. I rolled snake eyes. <laughs> snake eyes. And it's a minus one. So I got a one. Wow. Ooh. That's not good. Thanks, no. Dice. No. <laughs> what ha- does anything cast. special happen on a failure? Uh, just because it's like she's already her says, she's already her darkest self right now yeah because usually it pushes you further to that like the more you fail uh right 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 okay cool i mean if you want to get a hit in because i like absolutely botched it i'm in yeah i'm done to that let's go well i think i get a if you didn't stop me from hitting this lady then i hit her yep so let's see how that goes see how she is Ooh, i got an 11 oh. two, so that's a 13 <laughs> so she takes one harm yeah um know. and then i'm gonna whirl around on uh hester sweet she's like yeah go ahead <laughs> yeah i'm into it let's go Ooh, i got an 11 plus two which is a, th- a 13 again so heck yeah what does it look like uh i think it's just like you know she's uh Cass is in the process of lashing down on this and she gets the follow through on that hit, but then she definitely clocked that you were trying to stop her. And part of her darkest form is that if anyone gets in her way and that she tries to knock them down. So she'll turn uh, towards you because you're trying to interrupt her rampage. Uh, and I think it's just a, like a swift movement where it's like down and then up and then like a like a smash like that, like just a one fluid movement. Um, and you take a harm. Ouch. She loves Ouch. it. Ouch. But, <laughs> but All right. You escape your darkest self when you wound someone you really care about. Did you escape your darkest self? I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah. You can pray oh, on you that. You do for care a about, okay, as she prays about that, what's going on with Robert? What are you doing? Where are you? Uh, I feel like I've gotten pretty good at this fire, and then I've got <laughs> I've got it all set to to burn, and I'm just waiting. Like I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna give it five minutes before I I burn the house down, just because you know I came here with people. Okay, is Maeve back in this room yet, or what's up? What are you doing, Maeve? Maeve rushes into the room. <laughs> she. And... M- Maybe probably walks in on Robert. He's got like a bunch of kindling everywhere and he's literally holding like an improvised torch. Stop. Stop that. Right now. Okay. But. Uh, Sure. There's still time for that in a minute. Okay. Um, For now. I killed Colin. I think we should look for the missing girl. Oh, um, you can burn the house after the wolf is eating the bat. Cassie's yeah. going to kill me. No, the, <laughs> no, the, the Cass killed the head vampire. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, good for her. That's I'm yes, I'm gonna deal with that later. For now, we should find them. That means she's in the house, right? Yes. Great. In the basement. Okay. Wait, she's in the room upstairs with us. Oh, or, or upstairs. Upstairs. Um, are you coming with me? Do you have sure, as you, you guys are talking a little he talks old to the lady. torch? And- enters the room she says guys um i was told that there was some activity some paranormal 
activity happening here? I was just wondering. It's uh, all in the backyard. No, I don't think so. I've seen it in the attic. My name is Zelda. Geist. Nice to meet you. <laughs> right. Oh. My name's Robert. It's nice to meet you too. I'm here because I'm trying to sell magazines. Uh, oh, no. And, uh... No. Okay. Zelda, uh, why don't you lead the way? Yeah, you should follow me. And I take okay. you all upstairs with me. <laughs> to I just, I don't know what the, he, the attic. He throws the torch into the fireplace. I guess <laughs> come back for it. Maeve kind of gives him a look and is like, later. We're in the house, John, later. So oh, perfect. So we head upstairs and we happen upon what's happening now in the room. Ladies, ladies. Yeah, I want to swing back. Wait, are you, did you decide? What did you, what did you decide I in your heart? I think it depends on how Hester reacts. <laughs> okay. I think like what Hester says or does next might depend if she's knocked out of darkest self state. Sweet. Ah, oh, crap. We're both our darkest selves right now. So Ooh. the EQ is not here. Yeah. Yeah. Time for subtlety and patience is over. So yeah. uh, any other, any other time, I think it would be like a good moment. And yeah. she's like, not nah, dog. And I want to cast wither on you now. <laughs> well, that, uh, Let's see, let's see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that's a nine. But right now, all of my hexes have unexpected side effects and are more effective than I am comfortable with. So uh, what I would have wanted to do is attempt to blind uh, Cass so she can't like, so she doesn't have eyes on her original target, but you as the MC can do whatever you want with that. What do you what what would you like, Cass? Oh no, that sounds good to me. Okay. Whatever Bria wants. Oh my god, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Always. Always. All right. So as uh as you all are um in the midst of throws, uh Zelda and Maeve and Robert are gonna enter the room. And mm. Zelda's gonna say, stop. I see. She's still okay. And she's going to come over to our dear friend, Radhika, and lay hands. And she's going to turn to Maeve and say, Maeve, yes, I, I know who you are. I've seen, I've seen you for a while. It's okay. I'm a friend. I uh, know that you might be the only one who could help her. How you can take her in and it might set her free, but the moon is very strong tonight. Actually, she needs all of you. You, Hester. Yes, you. You have strength beyond your years. <laughs> I like how in this... <laughs> See, Cass is just full werewolf mode flailing. Yeah, I'm Can't coming see. to you. And the background is just like screaming <laughs> primally. <laughs> I'm coming to you. You have oh, other yeah. senses. You can <laughs> still attack yeah. people. Yeah. We're having a moment. <laughs> Zelda's in the background. Cass is just flailing while we're getting <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> like my stepmom's Pomeranian. Calm down. <laughs> Who's also and blind. So, yeah. I'm just going to go over to Robert. And say, Robert, you know how to stop Cass right now. Link up. Huh? Help her. Your team, all of you are brought together for a reason. Today you save this girl. The next time, it will be bigger. What do you choose to do, Robert? Um, but I, don't, I, 
Okay, I guess I'll stop this. I'm... <laughs> so he'll just like walk over to to Cass and just like, I guess he's going to, like as she's like thrashing around, he's just gonna try and like grab her by 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 the paws. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's going to attempt to uh, shut someone down. Yeah. We'll see if, if that does well. He's not very good at cold. Not okay. as good stat. See how terribly he does. I got a four. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Welcome to what failure feels like, Eric. <laughs> well, she well, that's was like, okay. it's, Cass, it's not as. Mm -hmm. Cass knows that's exactly it. where you are now. So, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> if you don't headbutt him, I will offer you physical money. I will Venmo you dollars to have Cass just headbutt the shit out of him. Right now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So what are you going to do, Cass? Oh, I think she turns and swings it. Okay. <laughs> oh no. And Zelda's going to remind you, Robert, you don't have to physically hold her. <laughs> <laughs> is this, her is the moon out? <laughs> is it moon time yet? Yeah, it's, it's moon. moon. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh my God. Moon power go. <laughs> oh my God. And yeah, uh, I'll just turn her. around and, and uh, I'll like, I'll like twist my hands, but, or I'll just rip my hands apart where he was trying to grab him and then turn around and then just go. <laughs> <laughs> my big wolf head. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> More blood. This is good. We're doing it. <laughs> so you take a harm. It's time. Okay. Moon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Cass, we're going to need you to calm down. <laughs> and so I'm going to have to use my little crazy little uh, paranormal strength and power as well. I love it. A little bit well, of everything. I, mm -hmm. I would say, well, because of my uh, my strange impersonation, you doing a harm for me means I get one of your moves. So <sighs> I get Howl at the Moon. So so now I howl, like howl out like a wolf, and I'm just going to straight up tackle you. Uh, and uh, I get three. It, it's a plus it's three dark to my plus dark. Plus three, yeah. Yeah. But uh, dark doesn't really. So I, I'm gonna like just like gaze into the abyss and like stare into your soul. <laughs> oh, cool, 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 cool. Yes. Yeah. Seems normal. What's going on in there? Yes. <laughs> Super Do it. chill. Do it. Uh, that's gonna be an eight. To just okay. stare into my soul. To gaze yeah. into the abyss and because. Uh, I, I don't know what it did. <laughs> it shows you, yeah, it shows you confusing and alarming visions, but you get your answer nonetheless. So what do you, what's your question? What do you I'm want to know? I'm trying to figure out how to, like, how to shut it I'm down. what I'm supposed to do. Uh, uh, the only way to, in, in the rule set, and I'm cool with us talking this out to have other creative uh, options, uh, sure. but in the rule set, it says, when you wound someone you really care about or the sun rises. <laughs> yeah. But I'm cool with, uh, with uh like zelda stepping in or if like there's just a creative choice in any way like i'm down for that but i think the out was hester and that but she's also in her darkest form so yeah. like, uh, oopie oh no they're all evil babies right now not um, me you, no. you wouldn't want to see me in my darkest form <laughs> No, oh my God, I don't know. It's so bad. I swear. Your, dark, your regular form is yes. already really dark. So, like, I can only imagine what your my dark darkest form, form is not helpful. <laughs> okay, uh, Eric. What about? Uh, what about if, like, when you instead of re like staring into my soul, you project into my soul or something? Ooh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That. It's yeah. yeah you, you see, like, <gasps> my inner. I guess darkest form, like the the idea that like whatever it is, whatever magic is keeping me in existence doesn't like existing, so mm -hmm. it's like it's it's constantly doesn't want to exist. So it's like this constant struggle of I'm alive, but I don't know what life is, and I don't know if I actually want to be alive. And it's just like this darkness of wanting to no longer exist. 
tight. I'm you know, sad. being a teenager. Yeah. Oh, I was like, <laughs> just teen stuff. Yeah. Just teen emo, stuff. emo, angst, 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 angst. I chimed in. Okay. Um, okay. So it's just the, the oppressive void that is the innards of my, my consciousness being okay, so cast pushed scene. inside. Yeah. What's happening? So cast is seeing <laughs> so cast is seeing this is I just want to get clarified. Yeah. Oh, hype train. Thank you, hype train. What does that do to me? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, I was I gonna guess- ask, what does that? That's why I'm asking what, what is how does that affect you? Does that does that help pull you out of your out of your, your Hulk state or not? I feel like you I don't I don't understand why it would. <laughs> yeah, it probably wouldn't. It, it, it drives you makes further. Me, makes oh my me god. More upset. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Sorry. I uh that's fine. My darkest <laughs> self is is me actively trying to get myself killed. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's literally what it says. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> um uh, Cool. Well, I guess while you're in there seeing into my soul and projecting <laughs> your soullessness yeah. into me, you could report back the things that'll make me stop doing what I'm doing. Okay. At the very least. <laughs> so as like they're struggling and it's very violent, uh, he's very calmly relying, uh, just be like sunlight or if she hurts someone she cares about. <laughs> He's just being like, <laughs> like head butted and thrown across a room, <laughs> slammed into the wall. A chunk of the uh, uh, insulation has fallen out of the. <laughs> yeah, he's got like a, a bit of a head wound now. Oh my gosh, Maeve, yeah, how's Maeve anything? doing? I was like, do, what do you do? You need to do hey, anything? Maeve, Maeve. What do you want to do? This is a whole lot <laughs> of people doing things, and that's so exhausting to me. True. Respect. Uh, what what seems to be, in terms of like walking into the room, what else is going on besides these three, and what they're doing? Is there what else am I seeing when I walk in? Besides those three, um, oh my gosh, they have unlocked so many things. Sorry, Yay. I just looked up the tier unlocked. Monster. Let's you go. Guys have unlocked hearts. another NPC that I don't know if we have time to get to right now. And yeah. more monster hearts. I mean, it's whoever a DMs lot. next has to use this NPC. <laughs> <laughs> Just a legacy. <laughs> She's pretty good too. Anyway, it's pretty funny. Um, okay. Um, oh, da, 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 da. sorry, I just got distracted by all of that. That's amazing. You guys are amazing. I don't even know what to do with myself. I anyway. I, dreams do come true is what I'm going to say to that. Um, okay. Um, so a bunch of stuff is going on. So we got our crazy kind of hulked out slash wolfed out right now, right, Cass? We've got Robert, our little dear friend who's got smushed in the face and he's bleeding. Um, and he's try- looking like he's looking into the black abyss and the void, but trying to communicate with a hulked out, wolfed out, wolfy friend. Um, we've got Hester who... I don't know what she's doing right now. You're uh, what she you wa- no, she walked over and she's trying to like hold uh, uh, Ronica. Okay. And trying to like see what she can do. Maybe some spells, something yeah. her out. Who knows? All right. So that's what's happening in the room. Um, the doors was smashed out from earlier. So anybody could walk in any time. Zelda is there with you as well. If you need any extra moral support, um, paranormal support. She is an expert in paranormal activity. Um, and is there to help if you need it. Uh, I think Maeve is going to turn to Zelda and say, help with the girl. Yes, I'll, get, I'll see to the girl. Get the human out safely, okay? I'll see to her. So Zelda's going to go and get uh, help Radhika out, Radhika McDowell out of the uh out of the house. You know what? Hester's holding her right now and is mm-hmm. not super down with all of the fucked up people in this house messing with her. Okay. So I want to say that the darkest self version of Hester rejects Zelda's help. Just back up. Okay, you are strong, I see. I knew that. I think the rug is just rotting around her mm. right now. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
That's fine. Your friend said that she wants the girl out safely. So can we work together to get her out of this room? I'd like to pull a string Mm -hmm. and and look over because I do have uh, one string on Hester and kind of make a look. And like, I imagine centuries of you know, honing her vampiric abilities, Maeve knows how to make eye contact in a way that like cuts into someone's soul. And it's perfected of, the withering stare. Yeah, <laughs> I think it kind of has the ability to like pierce Hester beyond her being in her darkest form right now and kind of just sends this message to her that's like, you don't have to stop this energy that you're on because I'm all about it and I love it. And yes, please. We're going to talk about that later For right now. What I need you to do is let this woman like go along with what this woman is saying. Sweet. I think Hester was like kind of grimacing at Zelda, but then is going to turn and look at Maeve and just slowly nod. And then just sort of picks like scoops up uh, Ronica uh, in the rug I don't know if she's like naked on yeah. a bare skin rug I think I just imagined uh, she's that like way. wearing like I love that but she's got like a negligee I didn't on. even know you could be in clothes on a bare skin rug I thought you had to be naked I thought that was like a law somewhere you also somewhere. have to be yeah you just, have to have a mustache too yeah. <laughs> she does she has what no <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, no, she's wearing like a like a beautiful like l- silky like night like lace and like nightgown necklace. Nice. She looks pretty hot. Nice. So then I'll wrap her up and like mm-hmm. with sort of preternatural strength, like scoop her up and like start taking her out. Okay. Cool. All right. Girl is out of the room. Hopefully she's gonna be well. What do you guys want to do with Cass? <laughs> <laughs> How do you solve a problem like? Robert looks at Maeve and goes, I don't think my th- my approach is working. Maeve is going to kind of like curtly nod at Robert and is going to step in front of Cass. And I'm going to I'm going to use another string because I have two strings. All right. On Cass. I think when you step up, like Cass stops swinging and turns around and is like, just like very primally like sniffing the air, but still is like muscles, like, like bulging and ready to attack kind of thing, but still can't see. So it's trying to make out the situation. I think weirdly, like almost like, you know how you can sometimes at really fancy restaurants, you're supposed to have a palate cleanser between courses. A so mouge bouge. Exactly. See, I, I'm not fancy enough to even know what it's called. Terry's so think... fancy. <laughs> Terry is so fancy. <laughs> I think Maeve, knowing that Cass has made fun of her for her, like, scent or lack thereof before, kind of, like, puts her, almost like you would to, like, sample perfume on someone. She kind of, like, runs her wrist under Cass's nose to kind of, like, cleanse her palate of smelling things that she might be drawn to eat and rip out their throats and instead like try to kind of uh kickstart something in her brain of like breaking that connection of being obsessed with that smell by removing it with a her smelling like absolutely nothing (laughs) it's the cast iron (laughs) (laughs) uh i love this i think uh I think you do that and the and the sniffing stops for a second and then leans into the wrist and and starts up again and then one of the big like clawed hands comes and grabs your wrists and like brings it further into her nose and she just takes like a like a huge whiff of it and then lets go of your hand and you kind of see her muscles relax. And then she just sort of stands there. It's time to go, Cass. Uh, she doesn't respond, but but Maeve, yeah, she doesn't put a, put up a fight. Maeve is gonna look at Robert and kind of like 
jerk her head toward Cass and toward the door and start walking. All right. And our adventurers head out of this house. What After I lighted on fire. That's what I was going to ask. I was like, what is Robert going to do? <laughs> hey, wait, were there turrets? Did I miss turrets? Oh my God. I assumed. Damn it. Should have done it's more. It's an old at house. the very least. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Fabulous. So Radhika's probably going to be okay. It looks like we had Zelda come and help. A, a true healer and friend for real um um she clears out places and houses um and you want <laughs> like kiss. i do no, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> God. true 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 and true and true um so what's next for you kids we fast forward later in the evening Cass, where do you think you end up later that night after all this is said and done I think Cass in full uh, werewolf form is just like lurking on the grounds of the high school. And I think like feeling very powerful, but also super lonely. <laughs> and just as like in a clearing in the trees by the high school, like whimpering a bit and then howling at the moon and then, you know, knocking a tree down. <laughs> Wait, isn't the dance happening right now? Yeah, but Cass can't turn back until the sun comes out. Oh, beans. And you all get text on your phone. I know. Fuck Gosh. you, Summer. <laughs> <laughs> and she texts and says, I'm so sorry um, to alarm you and say there was a fire. I was just trying to get your attention. She's going to say thank you, though, for helping slay what needed to be slayed. I know you all have good hearts. Monster hearts. I was going to see even if stop you kill monsters. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Don't mess with my lineup. It's all good. I love it. I was going to see even if you feel monstrous sometimes. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Summer don't know shit. <laughs> You'd be surprised. She'll be back later, probably. Okay. <laughs> yes. And then uh, after that, where's 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 Maeve? What, what's she doing tonight? Tonight's the night of the dance, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maeve dresses up and she wears this, like she gets dressed in like a really, really, really high-end, clean cut, like perfectly tailored suit. She wears like sky high heels and she puts on very simple, impeccable jewelry and she kind of, you know, gives herself a blowout with her hair. And then she sits like perfectly perched in the living room on her couch and she checks her watch and she checks the clock in her living room and she looks to the door and she checks her watch and she looks to the clock in her living room and she checks the door and she checks her watch and she does that for about an hour and a half. And then she takes off her heels and she puts them in her closet and she takes off the suit piece by piece and she hangs the jewelry back up and she crawls into a little hidey hole that she's built in the basement of her house, tucked away and like hidden under one of the little storage shelves where uh, she has like a light proof box that she can sleep in under the ground it's not it's not a coffin but it's something that you know that's where she recharges every day so she can go back into the sun the next day for a short period of time and uh she just looks at her phone over and over and wonders if she doesn't have reception down there or if no one's texting her uh i think i think you hear a knock at the door like as you're getting ready to go in your your vampire snuggle zone uh, and if, do you go to answer it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, think, <laughs> I think she's probably like, she started the process of getting into her little hidey hole and she kind of like pops off, open the, the little roof of it. Cause she hears the sound and comes out and like puts on, you know, puts on a robe and kind of like goes to the door and opens it a little crack. 
I there is something like a bouquet on the doorstep, but it's like obviously just a patch of flowers that has been ripped up by a giant clawed hand oh. and sort of like dumped on the doorstep. Uh, and then if you look up into uh, into like the the tree line, you know, away from your house, you see these two pair of bright bright green eyes just sort of blink and uh and then turn and and they disappear but you hear a, a howling sort of fade into the into the distance <laughs> Maeve just looks down at the flowers and you can kind of see her go what do they do what do they do again <laughs> <laughs> and turns and goes back inside <laughs> perfect <laughs> And where, what's our dear sweet Hester? Uh, Hester went to the goddamn dance, like the G she is. Uh, she probably is like hanging out with Foxy J and the rest of like the werewolf squad. Uh, just and we're doing like full choreographed dance. Yeah, I was like, uh, oh my God, you guys all practice tight. Mm. Let's go. <laughs> you should put this on your TikTok. <laughs> oh my God, I should. Mm -hmm. I'm very unhappy. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'm and I want to send. <laughs> Uh, and I think she like runs to the bathroom, uh, where like three girls are crying because it's a school dance. So there's always like high <laughs> drama there. True. Always a couple. Hester's surprised it's not, it's not her at this time. And she's going to send a, a text out to the group, like just to see what they're all doing and where everyone's at. And, uh, even though she looks normal again, I think she's kind of like, like her, she's like leaning back against the sink and like the mirror behind her, especially, but all of the mirrors on the bathroom, like start to fox at the edges and go a little gray and clouded. And she's not all the way out of it. Does anyone respond? It's okay uh, if no. It's not a phone. Huh? It's not no, a phone? I, no, I sent it. I just sent a text to the group. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can use a phone right now. <laughs> <laughs> my tiny little claw just, or my big claw, just the very tip of it. <laughs> I, can't, I don't have my pants. My pants are still ripped up in that vampire's house. <laughs> my phone's in there. <laughs> I think at Buzzing this point, in a pile of blood. <laughs> I think at this point with Maeve having gone back underground, like she's checking her phone every two seconds but what she doesn't realize because she doesn't quite understand human technology is that there's like the signal with a big red x over yes. it yes and she doesn't know that that means that she has no service where she is so she just thinks that no one is texting her and robert uh well we see uh we see robert's phone uh and it is uh it it is very cracked and also not only, like it it is dead and covered with enough uh like a, a nice layer of of dust to say that it's been there for a while that he hasn't touched it in probably weeks uh and he, we we see him like uh in his uh his bedroom window is open and he's sitting on like the the like he walked out uh, of the window and he's sitting on like the little roof overhang uh with a like soda from a gas station and he's watching the the fire crews uh down the street uh as the the building burns and he's just got a, a zippo lighter and he's just flicking it open turning it on and then flipping it closed and he just keeps doing that while he sips the soda and watches this house burn down oh. Beautiful. Tight. Beautiful. Oh my God. Aww. Invite Hester to watch that house burn down with you. Aw. If you well, all if y'all texted like meet at the burning house. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be super cute. Oh well, perfect yeah. evening, everybody. Um, and then that's the the end of our adventure tonight, I do believe. Y'all saved save the girl, save the empire. Um and ended on this angsty note. Nailed yes, it. Yes, nailed high it. schoolers and angst. Um, yeah, you youths. You all look so young. You you see <laughs> ki you, you kids. Um, perfect. Thank you guys so much. Um, and on that note, that's the end of our first 
round of monster hearts with the bays um Yay. apparently you unlocked another one at some point in 2021 so yes. oh goodness oh no oh, oh what? goodness oh yes. my god what? yes we'll come back and do this again and and, and bring you some more oops, bring you some more eggs i like close my my stream my stream page good thing i didn't close the <laughs> zoom page um <laughs> That's the show. Uh, bye. Bye. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> what if it was just over? That'd be amazing. <laughs> that would so be me, though. Cut the food. Um, <laughs> Dunk. Too much. Um, sweet. So yeah, so we're still here. Thank you guys so much for joining us and for all your generosity, unlocking all this stuff. I, I honestly like today was the longest work day I feel like of my life. Oh no. Going, no, it was great. I mean, I was up at like you know six a.m. And then I was up till two planning this game tonight. So like, I was like, ah, crazy. And so it's just a miracle of life that you Can't all show confirm. up. She texted me at like 4.45 and it was like, are you up yet? I wanted to call. And I was like, yeah, you definitely didn't just wake me up. Oh was, my God. Lie. It was That's 9 45. I was already like <laughs> about on my day. Um, <laughs> And like in between work, like literally texting Eric, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm like, are these okay? <laughs> Dom, is this okay? Like you guys are so great. So I just want to say thank you again for making me feel so welcome in the GM seat and um, happy to run and play games with you guys like to the ends of the earth. Y'all are so fun. This is um, so good. You're so good. Holy so, shit. So fun. Oh my goodness. It was so much oh, fun. I love Only good because you guys are so good. You guys literally make this so easy. Like the first time I ran a game with you guys, I was more stressed than I could be in my life. Today I was just like, <laughs> we're going to be fine. Like y'all are such good storytellers and like you like, just take on information and turn it into gold and fun. And I love getting to share that with our fun audience and amazing chat that like comes and hangs out. Like how wild is it that people spend their time with us to like hang out and like play games with us? I would do this all the time, no matter what, but the, the fact that everyone gets involved, I really, really appreciate it. Um, so let's go around and, and, and talk about where everybody can follow you, find you, hang out with you some more. I know people are still gifting subs and stuff like that. They're trying to get next this game. I think we're very close. Um, I don't know if you want to let me know, Dom, what the count is right now, how close we may or may not be for that. Just to see Neg's face one more time, go like, what, I got to run a game? Like to see her freak out every time. It's so great because we all 99, 99 away from Neg's, 99 away. So I don't know. Christmas miracles do happen. We just got a raid come in. Thank you so much. Um, who knows? I believe in, I believe in, you know, Black Santa, it could happen. Um, right, right, right. All right. Um, uh, go around and then, and, and, and talk about yourselves. Let's go reverse. Like think, uh, let's go with Eric and then we'll go like reverse what we did at the beginning. Hi everyone. My name is Eric. Uh, and when I'm not here being emo, uh, you can catch me Sundays, uh, on this channel as well uh, for New Pantheon uh, Academia, which is our anime-inspired high school drama where, with kids with gods inside of us that punch things. It's very fun uh, and great. Uh, that's Sundays at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on Saving Throw Show. And you can catch me, uh, on, I'm mostly Eric, on all the things on the internet, including Twitch, where I stream video games. Yeah. Woo. Whoop, whoop. I can't remember. My brain is broken. Hi. I think whoever wants to go, I think Neg's just perked up for a second. How about you go? Hi. <laughs> yeah, I can totally go. Okay. Uh, I'm Nega Oryx. I was playing Maeve tonight. And if you want to hang out with me elsewhere on the internet, you can catch me four days a week streaming on my own Twitch channel. That is twitch.tv slash Nega Oryx. Tomorrow, I'm doing a very special sponsored stream with Oris, and we are going to be doing some giveaways uh, for Ooh. seven days of Orismus. Uh, so we can hook you all up with some PC upgrades. There's a really amazing monitor up for grabs, a couple of gaming mice, some really cool uh, motherboards, a lot of awesome stuff that they're offering. So come on through for that tomorrow. And then on Friday, I'm participating in an initiative with Tiltify where I get to go around donating to streamers who are fundraising using Tiltify's platform this holiday season. So that's going to be this Friday. If you are fundraising this Friday evening, be sure to reply to the tweet that I'm going to be putting out. There will be instructions on how you can be eligible to have me stop by your stream and donate to your cause. Thank you so much for having me. This was awesome. And you did a great job, Terry. I had so much fun. Oh, stop. Oh my God. Uh, I love you. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm just like all the feels right now. Like 
I, we like end these games and like, then I'm like up when I'm just like wired, even if I was like, had yeah. the longest day ever, like this, like fuels my fire. Like I end up like texting Vanna into like the middle of the night. And I know she's still up and it's like late and I'm just like, it's like four Vanna. or 5 a.m. for me. I'm like, I'm like, Vanna, it's the middle of the night, but I love you. And I just need you to know that right now. Um, so I feel you. Okay. So, I'm how up about you go, Vanna? Energy, yes. So that Tell works. us where we can find you, Vanna, Vanna. Um, I stream full time over at twitch.tv slash Vanna. That is V A N A. Um, and, <laughs> and my schedule's pretty intermittent right now because I'm trying to figure out what it means to take care of yourself. I have no idea. So it might take a while. Oof. So follow me on Twitter. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Twitter.com slash Havana Rama, H A V A N A R A M A. And I'll let you know when I go live on my channel or here or anywhere else. I know Negs and I are playing DVD tomorrow. Ooh. I don't know what day it is. Thursday. So that's not tomorrow. Tomorrow's that Wednesday. Is tomorrow. Oh, it's Wednesday for me because it is <laughs> 2 a.m. Uh, I just, uh, yes, Thursday, which is tomorrow, kind of. Thursday, playing DVD with Negs. And then uh, I am have another awesome crew uh, on Friday that I'm also playing DVD with. So I'll at least be live those two days. Uh, but in the interim, if you want to just support me uh, getting to do stuff like this, getting to do stuff like I do on my channel and other channels, please check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash Havanarama, spelled the same. Uh, and I have lots of different tiers that offer a lot of different things, including tabletop RPG stuff, where I do, I post like behind the scenes content from the shows that I do here at Saving Throw Show, as well as other places. So and yeah, music, and music and music. And music. I just oh my did, god, music! I just did a cover with my friend, uh, my very good friend and former bandmate Blep, of uh, a song called "People Like Us" from a musical called Wild Party, and we both put like a lot of love and a lot of work into it. So, if you want to uh, become a patron at ten dollar tier or higher, then you can check out. It's exclusively right now on Patreon. Uh, the full cut of it. Four, four and a half minutes of musical goodness from uh me and me and the bleppers so yeah girl got a voice on her yeah sometimes i sometimes. miss karaoke when you I would know. just show up and belt your face off and it was so good <laughs> oh my gosh that <laughs> sidebar that bar is in need of some help right now yes, at bar. That's so true. yeah just, if you follow some of them if you follow me on insta you'll I'll see me i'll probably repost again about it but yeah help them out yeah. Um, it's where I ran karaoke sometimes in the before times. So I'd love to do it again in the after times. Uh, Abria, please tell us all about you. Sweet. Hi, I'm Abria Angar. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Quiddy, Q U I D D Q U I D D I E. I don't know letters anymore. Um, it's <laughs> so hard uh, this week. Uh, taking it easy, relaxing a bit. Uh, on Thursday, I'm going to be playing uh, Among Us for the first time with Vince Queso over on his channel. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to be very stressed out and bad at it. So come and watch me just, just sweat and be upset. <laughs> it's it's not going to be pretty, but I hope it's entertaining. Uh, on Friday, you can catch me playing uh, over with the group uh, Failed Save over on Pixel Circus at 6 p.m. And on Saturday morning, I have press ganged Terry into service along with the three Black Halflings and Christina Ariel to play a game of uh, For the Queen for Roll Vember, like a holiday charity stream on Roll20 apps, uh, Twitch stream at 11 a.m. Pacific. Uh, we're doing a like reindeer themed, uh, yeah, the word, it's we're all got a whole outfit i didn't you I'm didn't so tell me that i have i have everything i'm ready i wore it like to ren fair a couple years ago it'll be perfect <laughs> i can't wait but oh, wait that i out. remember that you were mm -hmm. so cute oh man yeah. I'm we found each other at the city. fair that was like your first trip i think to the fair or something crazy and i was so hot like not attractive i mean like overheated and but like dusty also, no but it was also, not she saw me as a reindeer and she was like wow i was like I didn't know we were supposed to be cute. I wasn't ready. So I'm very excited for that now. Uh, um, yeah, that, that's fine. That's it. Taking a break. 
we'll be back in the new year. Uh, this Tales from Salt Bay is amazing. Thank you all so much for running phenomenal games and playing phenomenal games and telling great stories and letting me get to take a little turn being a player at the table. We'll be coming back in 2021 and I will be running something for the group. Uh, we, I'm not announcing it yet because it's a Christmas miracle. It'll be a Christmas announcement. <laughs> of whatever we, we don't do. know. We don't but know nice, yet. But the nice thing is that it's been really fun to rotate around and like, you know, what what's really cool is we could still get a game with negs because we're extending the deadline to get nega to gm yes! for tomorrow oh, 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 oh. so all y'all who were excited about the game tonight and just want to have negs also gm in 2021 please find your friends get the neg hive yes. activated and like get them out there um so you can get your friends to help support the channel and bring more content that you want and love to you um also i want to um tell you to join us tomorrow for a special q a with dom zook at 2 p.m pacific time right here on this channel um you can submit questions now if you follow dom on twitter at gadzook g-a-d-z-o-o-k for a link to the question form i've i've filled out some questions so i know it's very easy it's just like a google little form um and we're going to return the channel we return january 3rd with all new new pantheon academia at 4 p.m um and you can find me on the internets as well if you want um i'm hanging out in the meantime like abria said this weekend playing some game with her um i'm still doing my amazing horror movie survival guide podcast we have some epic interviews coming in next year i'm so excited we've already recorded some I can't wait to share with you guys once everything's up and running. Next week, though, we have Black Christmas episode from 1974, one of the classic uh, horror films. Super excited about that. Um, and a lot of other goodies. So check out Horror Movie Survival Guide. Follow me over there um, or follow me at the Terry Gamble on the internet. Um, oh, also Diversity Hair Comedy, my sketch comedy group has been putting out Wednesday videos every week. They're so stupid, but check it out. We'll have really so fun with me tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything yeah, else? Do we get everything? We're, we're 69. at 69. Nice. Oh, we're, nice. We're 12. 69 subs nice. away from Nega Oryx taking nice. over the GM seat for the very first time ever in her life. Um, let's Heck break yeah. that. Let's make that happen. Let's make it happen. Let's let's get her in the seat, you know? Get her in the saddle. Oh my gosh, that all sounded awkward like a weird uncle. Okay, so I love you guys <laughs> so much. I don't want to be awkward anymore. I'm gonna- um, You're a sexy uncle. Jimmy. You're sexiest uncle. Hmm? I try. I love, I love, I love creepy. I'm going to get you a mug that says thing. world's sexiest. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that already exists. You don't Honestly, have to, to make it. Very troubling. <laughs> I need it. I need it. I need it so badly. All right. Um, anything else? Anyone? Anyone, Dom? Did we do it? I think we did it. I think we did it. I don't know. I don't want them to leave, though. I want to stay with everybody forever. No. I do just want to stare at your faces. If we could just what is 69? Uh, okay so on that like when bye, bye. thank you so much <laughs> so what happens is